Hello and welcome, my friends. Habitch here, as always, and uh, a little earlier in the game load because uh, we're a few minutes after 10.30. Sorry about that. Got uh, got backed up a bit trying to get going. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome in. And for a quick shout out as the Twitch folks arrive, uh, YouTube fans, uh, appreciate you guys so much. Lots of likes, uh, a few comments coming in. Uh, you guys are great. And I hope you enjoy Junimo Kart, because probably, uh, well, a fair amount of that going on these days, today in particular. Why? Come on, stream manager, show me the game. There we go. Speaking of the game, let's load it up. How y'all doing? Happy Wednesday. Oh, look at our prismatic outfit. It's so good. Uh, okay. Well, while we're waiting to load, I was, um, was watching a couple of just uh, those crappy, you know, like the AI listy type videos uh, this morning. Uh, somehow I got into my... Oh, it's Leah's birthday today. we got to remember that. Uh, let's get out of that and into our inventory. Oh, sorry, we got to put all this away. We quick into the ad today, I guess. All right, we'll do deal with that. Um, yeah, I, a couple days ago I watched uh, like something that was like lunch things that we used to love and are now gone, and eh, it was it was okay. It was um, anything from like early twentieth century on up. Things like sloppy joes and uh, chip beef on toast and uh, some of like the, the salady type stuff from the 50s. A lot of times back then they would put like salads and meats and stuff into gelatin to mold, make molds, right? And it was, uh, I don't know, I think a lot, even even for myself, that was pretty much done when I was a little kid. Uh, I think nowadays we find a lot of that pretty gross. Like jello sad fruit jello salad holds on. That's still pretty strong. And uh, a pineapple upside down cake is kind of an idea of that. Um, people, uh, I, I think, still enjoy. You don't see them as much, but uh, people still enjoy that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'd, I'd watch that, and it kind of updated my my feed. So today I watched uh, um, one that was on uh, snack foods of the '80s that had come and gone, and again. It's not highbrow entertainment by any means, but it's kind of fun seeing a few of the things that you do remember and a few that you don't. Um, I, if anything, I thought that one was a little less uh, well-researched. I don't know. Uh, just <laughs> It's a low bar, but uh, I was like, okay, this is just kind of dumb. But it was an excuse for them to show some of the old ads of things. And uh, they had a very loose range of the 80s because some of them didn't even get introduced until like 1990, which seemed odd to me, but... It was fun. Uh, but as a result of that, I got one uh, one that popped, which was for... Uh... Oh, we got an ad. Sorry. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait for the ads to play and come back to that. That's kind of what I was setting up anyway. Um, egg corns. Uh, Google it real quick if you're watching and are curious or if you don't know what that already refers to. Uh, they're kind of fun. It's a linguistic uh, a, a word interchange thing that uh, is is always kind of entertaining some of them I think I think everybody's kind of got ones that are uh, their individual pet peeves but they're all around out us out outside of us and uh, yeah we'll come back and talk about those a little bit as we go see what the uh, spirits have for us and how much Juno how soon we're gonna dive into Juno cart all right be right back
Give me some of that day-old coffee. That's right. I got second mug reconstituted, ready to go. I don't think it's reconstituted. I think that's what you do with dehydrated food. My coffee was still wet. I warmed it up a little bit, though. Uh, I don't know. I've always, uh, I've always done day-old coffee. Like, does it does it get bad? Is there any knockoff on that? Maybe it gets a little more bitter, but I I'm always a black coffee drinker anyway, so I don't mind. I, I obviously, if you'd put milk or something in it, that would be a really bad idea. But in the coffee itself, I think you're you're pretty safe. So. At least I, I hope so, because I've been doing it for years. And while some may argue it's, it's had an irreparable effect uh, for myself, I think it's pretty good. All right, anyway, uh, we're kicking off. Uh, we'll save the TV, but let's go see if we can track down our kiddo. Is he this way? Nope. And uh, let's put our clo extra clothes away. So we want to save one each of these extra things, uh, which are basically these. Uh, we've got... Uh, now, white sleeve shirt, our old blue clothes, and um, a black sleeve shirt. We're wearing the kind of dark altogether with just a patch of uh, prismatic today. And then we will attempt. I guess we're not going to get anything back for these. It's kind of a shame. I, I don't know if you guys know of a means to uh, recover value from duplicate clothes. Please let me know. Otherwise, um, I don't know for a reason for us to hang on to more of them. The reason why we have so many duplicates is there are multiple varieties, and I was just uh, playing around trying to get a few extra. Hey, welcome back in, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are uh, just checking the TV for the first time after our ad break. Let's see what our fortune is. Not today. All right. Well, let's uh, do what we can here. We'll take some ladders, maybe. And uh, I'm not going to use the luck food today, so put that up. Also, uh, since it is unlucky, let's get over here and put our bird mask away. Oh, and there's our kiddo. Oh, you're watching the fishies again, huh? Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to talk. There we go. I want to talk to the fishies. I want to talk to the kid. And I don't see Abigail. She must be out on the deck. It's a beautiful morning, I guess. Winter winter morning, not too cold. I think we've got plenty out of space outdoors for slime ranching. Uh, can we raise them outdoors? I, I got them in the hutch over there. Go go say hi. Uh, we did a lot of work on our tree tapper tree areas yesterday. Uh, we can continue in that vein a little bit. Uh, but here, let's get our speedy food going. Uh, so yesterday, Monday, let's not forget Leah's birthday either while, while we're at it. We took... Um, uh, took ourselves over to the island and got... Uh, Mr. Key started or uh, his latest request, and it was to... Uh, play Junimo Kart. A new ostrich. It's a biggin'. Uh, biggin'. Who do we want to get today? Let's get, uh, another, another IRL streamer. Uh, how about just Coyote Exp Exp? It's Coyote Express. Coyote Exp. Expra? Expra. Yeah. There we go. New baby ostrich. And our other ostriches, uh, local dummy's got a half a heart, so is Plonky. And all this goat cheese. Guess who loves goat cheese? That's right, Leah does. So one of these can be a present today. And 
Uh, let's pull back some of these. Again, first, first bit of the day. Let's also top off our hay so we don't have another incident. And still no starred ostrich eggs, so maybe tomorrow. Keep watching for that. Uh, Robin is still working in here. You're doing great work, Robin. Keep it up. Oh, pigs. Pigs. Oh, get me in the door. Hey, piggies. Good, we'll get ducks and dinos, check the shed real quick, and uh, we're going to do all the farm stuff today since the spirits are not real happy. Let's get it fully reset back. Of course, as we showed yesterday, we didn't go over to the saloon until like 6. Uh, did all our Junimo carding then, and it was it was good. Uh, honestly, it took a, took a long time to get the rust knocked off, but we got back up into the 40Ks. And what we're real? Did I do ducks yet? Or did I just go straight for dinos? Nope, didn't do ducks. Um, yeah, we you know had had some early challenge, but uh, got it, got it sorted out. Five here. I need ten though. Uh. <laughs> guess we'll keep waiting on duck eggs. Come on, ducks! I've been giving you guys golden animal crackers like it's crazy time. Uh, look at that. More sturgeon row coming. Uh, even more caviar production for us. And speaking of which, yeah, I think that will uh, will get us close. Pop in those guys. Honestly, we may be a little bit short. I can't remember. We did 11 on 20-something, so we should be all right. Right? Now, let's come back. Everybody? All right, yeah, we got plenty. So that'll work. We will sell some Gobi Row. And shed and greenhouse and mushrooms. Yeah, here's a good day. Oh, Leah likes salad too, so I guess we can give her the salad and uh, sell the, <laughs> sell the mush the goat cheese. It's more valuable anyway. Uh, let's get some more of this cloth gathered if I can touch it. And all these diamonds. Look at that! All our diamonds are on the same day. That's very nice. Um. We do, and maybe today we'll do our rework of uh, some of the uh, area in here. Seven and eight, but we're still a little short. We got lots of stuff to sell. Let's put this iridium ore up. And head on out. Do another another batch of coffee. It might be a good coffee day. Uh, so I think we will probably pop by the saloon and do just a bit of Junimo Carp. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. Obviously, we can talk about Junimo Carp in depth with all the time we spend on it. Uh, we'll probably play a little batch on with our bad luck and without eating anything so that it's, it's about as difficult as we can make it. Um... Well, probably have very little success, but it's good for the uh, good for the trying to get through on really challenging maps, so that when we do get some good luck, we'll be uh, even kind of more practiced up than we were from having played yesterday. So just a little bit. I don't want to waste a ton of time because the you know very next day we could have good luck. <gasps> it's happening! It's happening! Chat. But here, here's the comparison, right? Now, I know we have a few extra mangoes coming in from the island, but um, we're at like 126 on bananas, and we've got 281 on mangoes. Um, and that, that first banana tree, we've now got two producing, has to get all the way through a year 
uh, worth of bananas. So we've still got a, a fair ways to go before we can really anticipate getting Silver Star quality bananas. Uh, but the ostrich egg should be coming quickly. And uh, now that we've got a mango to sell, we'll be down to just those two items, a banana and an ostrich egg to ship. And we'll be good to go. All right, let's hang on to the um, coffee beans. Oh, I had bananas on the brain. Uh, oh, that's not a sign. That's a nice full batch of slimes, 121, and we did get some petrified to sell, so good there. I would really, uh, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't want to get the, the wrong colored slimes. Ugh. How many, how many hits are there in a slime? Nope. Going back over here. Come on, greens. Let's see, now I want some of these that are running away. Ah! They're so fast. Uh, did I kill some? I think so. Alright, let's leave... Uh, man, there seems like there's even more greens now, though. Okay, that, that definitely cleared out a bunch of our green slime. Fantastic. So the point of that is to allow us to make more uh, purple and hopefully some tiger slimes to have in there. I don't know... Uh, if that actually helps us as a slime rancher to have high, higher valued slimes in our hutch... But, God, it's 3 p.m. We didn't even have sheds today. Mango. There you go. Get in there. That should be some good cash. Um, we can't, can't start robbing on a new project. We could go chop some trees. Uh, to just get the the amount of free wood that we have back up a little bit. Uh, we did get ladders as well, so we could go to the Skull Cave on a bad luck day, which would mean maybe more monsters, since we still have those on the deep monsters. Uh, we could get some, uh, some decent drops. Uh, it's going to be less likely to produce uh, radioactive ore. Uh, but what are we going to do about that? All right, we're slow, <laughs> slowly but surely moving all our coffee beans. Uh, we can pick them up out of here and move them back, too. But we got to go get Leah and get her a birthday gift. And I'm not sure exactly where she'll be. Uh, but if she's at her place, it could easily work out for our tree chopping plan. A lot of jazz all bundled up. Skipping rope in the snow, which has got to be tough. Never tried, I don't think, but... There she is. Hey, uh, I know in winter time this uh, may not seem the most seasonable, but it's as fresh as I can make it. Hey, thanks a bunch, Chab. It just makes my birthday feel special. Uh, it gets pretty cold in my little cabin. I just snuggle up under a huge blanket. I'm okay. And now it's dark out at four. It doesn't look very dark, but the windows went dark. Uh, that feeds into our raviolan speculation on whether it gets darker earlier in the winter time. Still don't have a, a very clear answer, but it seems like there's at least something to it. All right, let's clean up this trash. Uh, we'll just do a little a little tour about. Uh, we're still looking for earth crystals. Maybe we could go to the mines and pull some some low-level mine stuff where we might get more earth crystal? That's not going to be there. We need more coffee. 
I'm just gonna forge up all this stuff. Still got relatively a good amount of time. Hey, we got one. Nice. Trip was not a waste. Uh, for folks who haven't been with us in a couple days or just dropping by, we are getting hardwood seeds, which are what pop from these stumps, to try to make a, a mystic seed, or many of them, uh, so that we can continue to grow those and uh, put tappers on them, uh, which will give us mystic sap, which is good for uh, fairy dust and also quite valuable. So we can... Uh, just make it a cash crop, too, but, um, uh, the other thing it makes is, or goes into our treasure totems, um, and at least for the time being, we're still looking for arta two different artifacts, so those treasure totems could give us artifact troves, and the artifact troves could get us, uh, the two items we need, what are a fan and a hand axe, I think? Uh, so it's good to get these here, I think, in the end of winter, any that we haven't already harvested, so that they can uh, start growing up in the warmer months, right? It takes a few weeks, um, but that will get us back. Ah, just going to jump right in the river like that, huh? Okay. Of course, this is the season of the glacier fish, and we already caught it, so no work on legendary fish yet. Today, or by uh, the season, um, I don't remember which. I think it's the bridge fish is the one we want to get. Oh, look at that gold star common mushrooms. I mean, any that we get are iridium, but we won't get any of those until fall. Uh, and for regular ones, we got all that we could need out of our caves. So. So, yeah, maybe, maybe we won't get a warm-up. Definitely doesn't look like we're going to get to the mines. So many trees, but our axe is really, really nice. It uh, it chops quick, and uh, three swings get these trees done. So uh, makes clearing out a whole area like this pretty easy on a otherwise uneventful day. Uh, now we are coming up on. I guess tomorrow will be uh, Spirits Eve Eve. Or no, no, it's not Spirits Eve. That's the autumn one. Winter Star Eve. All right, well, that was good. We loaded up. We can uh, do another run of coffee, but let's go Let's go all the way up to the house. Oops. And... Not a full stack, but... Little batch. We got two of those seeds. We need so we need five of each type of seeds: the acorns, pine cones, and maple seeds, and then five of the mahogany as well. Um, you can see which is the he's common. But here's our little uh, our little maple grove. So that.
I said, we'll bring these back. Work them back down to their home. And 11.10. Now, this could be, this could be a big use of our keys to the city that we received. Um, if we go... We go back to the saloon and it's closed. My understanding is that with our keys to the city, we can just shoot in there, uh, even after it's shut for business. And so we'll be able to do our own video gaming, which I'm sure just represents a an understanding between Gus and, and ourselves that we can uh, help ourselves whenever we want. Do 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 do. Hey, there's the birthday girl. I can't talk to her again, though, unfortunately. Uh, but here we go. So, saloon is shut. Gus is already going to bed. Emily's still finishing up. Hey, Gus, give me the... No, go home. It's all closed. Emily, how are you doing? I think my hair is frozen solid. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to play some video games. You're welcome to hang out. She's got to do, like, all the close-up work. That's brutal. All right. Let's get... Uh... Oh, before we do that... Sip some water here. So here we go. Yesterday we got to forty-one three ten. Uh, not a bad, a bad score. We've run everybody else off the scoreboard except for Lewis, and uh, with it being unlucky today, uh, I don't anticipate a whole lot of success. Um, ah, but what this does mean is that, uh, if we get a really, I don't think I've ever hit that. Oops. Certainly didn't yesterday. Nope. This is why we're going early, though. Ah! Seriously? I mean, look at some of the... They're just getting tougher as we go. No! Oh! Well, that was actually pretty good, although... Look at it. Look at the fruit, right? All a result of spirits being <laughs> being dumb to us. Are you... See, I think that that's going to be the deal with the spirits. Oh, is I'm going to get a lot more. Are you kidding me? I guess he had to transition to the top there? Mm 
Oh! Ah! Oh, come on! Oh, it's like teased me. It made it look like the little wheels landed so I could jump again, but nope. I was just thinking there is, you know, the fruit, I, I obviously am going to try to hit it all the time, but it really doesn't matter too much to us because I, I think the odds of us getting any, any big score on this particular in-game day is kind of terrible. Uh, you want to always hit them, just practice, practice what you're trying to do, but I saw that boulder, I just failed. trying to just hit that little guy that uh, was uh, an intentional jump just left it a bit short see like that oh sign slowed me down I guess oh my <laughs> uh, I'm watching the clock here oh goodness I, I see I looked at the clock when I was doing that uh, Keep an eye on the clock. We'll try to keep it, uh, uh, keep it pretty quick here. go <laughs> oh boy
Oh! I was trying to jump from that high one to see if I could get over the, what I guessed was an imminent rocking. I got hit by a rock off camera. That's awful. And we were right within sight of the end. Yeah, but game, you better, even if it's no spirit day, you better give me something for that. Oh! Well, at least we get to practice on ice. Oh, I was looking at the wrong th damn it. Alright, this will be our last one, then we'll exit out. Um So that was that was good. We got got a little practice in. Emily! You gotta go to bed. You can't work here all night. All right. Um, any last minute stuff? This doesn't go in here. That's one last minute thing. And we can uh, grab out these bones. Put the sap away. I can bring these inside. Uh, let's let's cook a little something. A little something, something. So if we go here, here, here. Uh, we have not yet cooked omelet, salad, baked fish, complete breakfast, or strange bun. Omelet. I need a leek. Okay. Uh... Sunfish and a bream. Oh, it's still here. Sunfish and bream. That just has to be more than half. So we can do that. And then we'll come down here. This still doesn't help us out in terms of having the fish already preloaded for our recipes, but we don't really want that either. We want uh, we want our fish to come so we made baked fish. I think we've made all those. Uh, complete breakfast is a fried egg, not an omelet. It is a hash brown what don't I have out of hash browns? Oh, I just didn't have one. Never mind. And then pancakes? And then a strange bun. Need a periwinkle. All right, well, that's not the best thing. I don't need to go running around outside. Um, what about on this next layer? What can we do? I've cooked most everything except for fried mushrooms. I don't have any oil, so we probably should hit Pierre's at some point here. Uh, I've made peppers, I've made trout soup, and I've made chocolate cake. So let's see if we can make anything other than those three on the third row. Um, I don't think we've made bread. And we haven't made pink cake. I made rhubarb pie. I made chocolate chip cookies. 
And we haven't made spaghetti. Alright, it's now 110. So let's go to the regular food chest and we'll put up an omelet, um, a bread, pink cake, a rhubarb pie, cookies, and spaghetti. And then in our bonus enhanced foods, the complete breakfast and nothing. Uh, drop these coffees. Uh, okay, hold on. That's the way you feel about it, coffee. We haven't made a lot. But when it when it gets to be over a stack of coffee supply, you gotta trim it down. here and we can uh, dramatically pare that down yeah, we'll get another few of those and oh wait that's not what I want I want peppers 21 sounds good what a day what a night one of these days we got to go to bed early too right Hey, look at that, a full, a full diversity. We only got 63 grand, but uh, some up to 1,000 in each of the categories. That's kind of nice. We don't have those days very often. There we go. Purple slimes hatching. Uh, the bookseller's in town today, and then Feast of the Winter Star tomorrow, where we got to take a gift to... Robin. One more coffee in the bin. And... Neutral. Um, yeah, we'll do bombs. Also, I think we're good here. I just want to check. 189. So that's all set. I seem to remember having finished that up. Hi, honey. Got brilliant. Fit all the farm animals. Thank you. Don't double mail. Tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, we got Robin. I just mentioned her. Uh, so today, being neutral, uh, we could probably do a little, little more variety of stuff. Um, but, why am I in here? I don't even know. Uh, I do think we, uh, should go look at our base inventory goods and buy up, uh, like, rice, and uh, we saw oil was lacking. Those other food, uh, staples, right, that help us cook all our various dishes. That would be a big help. Uh, these guys are still... Kind of recovering on eggs. I don't know how we got so low, but... Oh, there we go. Just when I say that, we got 11 and 12. So, eggs are back into mayo production. Big part of that was uh, bringing up a lot of the, the other stacks towards the end of making more dishes. Alright, got all the ostriches, most of... Oh, there it is. Yeah! Alright, before we do that, uh, we've got a nice ten there, and then we'll take the wool, and we'll take the ostrich egg. Now, Deluxe Barn is good to go. Look at that, it's all filled up. So, without further ado, I'm going to come here... Uh, Little Coyote Express, you are moving to uh, right next door. Oh, why can't it start me at their barn? Come on. Uh, local dummy. 
Keep going too. And Ponky. All right, so now we have room for three sheep. Um, I might get another cow, although I really don't. Th we got more cheese than we have peppers, so probably three more sheep would be the good way to go. And you guys, you feel good in your new home? It's going to be a minute before we start making uh, mayonnaise out of your ostrich eggs. But someday. Uh, for now, we'll just go pay a visit to Marnie today and get her cranking on... Um, more... More sheep and an auto grabber and a heater. And I really do wish I remembered how we got the little petting machine. Uh, I'll, we'll get there. I, we'll figure it out. But I, for the life of me, I can't remember how we got that. Um, it's not super critical yet, except on the uh, the days when it's very happy spirits or whatever, and we go do a, a challenge for key or something else. Um, there we go. Okay, all good there. Gotta check the shed. Also, we have bones to drop off. some wool to drop off and let's do more blueberries and is there anything we're a little short 110 and we could do another batch of copper uh, gold and iridium are all short uh, but we could do bones too and maybe today's the day we do the I stopped talking about it and actually do the shed move First, though, lots more chores. Uh, nothing there. Ooh, but we could do that. Oh, I didn't put the blueberries away. Uh, well, we're going to redesign the shed anyway, right? slime front, but now we can put in more purples, and I don't know if, if color determines anything about their productivity, um, whether or not we'll give them, give them full opportunity. All right, we got some foragey stuff here, don't we? Yeah, there. And we got some sealy stuff, as in the milk I didn't make into cheese. Let's hang on to that for a second. Ostrich egg, though. Woohoo! What was going on with that milk? So much wrong. First of all. We don't have a 20, but it's 20, not 10 milk, and... One short. Tomorrow when we come in here, it's not that I missed one, it's that that's what we had. 
All right, let's go put these blueberries away. No, let's go. Ah, I'm stuck. Let's go to Marnie's. Uh, supply shop first. We need a heater. And we need an auto grabber. But yeah, she does not have an auto petter yet. Uh, and then animals. Oh, what? Uh, 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 nope. Sheep. Hot right, goat. Uh, one of them was snip snip. Killer. Yes. And snooze. Oh, yeah, we'll just I call you snooze, not snows. Okay, now that barn is all filled up. Neutral. I'm going to go check anyway on the stumps. Nice. Maybe we'll go down to the island and... Oh, I can't take the horse... Uh, try to get some extra hardwood. Check on the crops and maybe a tiger slime. Uh, you know what? We don't need that. Okay, we gotta get back. our barn and you put that little heater in and a little ostrich egg collector uh, those can build up for quite a while eventually you can move some mayo machines in there all right uh, we did get one tree fertilizer. That's nice. So here's... I don't really know what I'm thinking. We kind of got to just waste time. Um, I'm thinking that we do... Oh, that's just a thing. All right, that's kind of annoying. Is that... Is that why the Resurn Scepter always moves? So I think we're going to do... Lose a little bit of productivity there, but we get all our diamonds back. Keep working on filling in that. And then we can go with... 
I don't know where I want this charcoal kiln. We also are eventually going to set up the dehydrator in here. Um, so maybe we go... in time. Uh, I don't like that this hides it, right? That we can't see. Um, well, that's just as big. I was hoping for something little. Um, if we... I don't know that we're ever going to need more there. I don't really know if we're going to switch these. But let's go... that and then I don't really need to do all of these I can just do these Ooh, look at that shed just finished move those over and then I can go don't know if I'm going to have another thing. I don't know where that fish dehydrator ended up. You know where I put that? Uh, but I think we're going to go with our catalog. And we'll get some more of these Junimo catalog. And then, I think, it's kind of getting messy. Unless I've got more up here, we're going to have to go Ancient Fruit. Oh, we never did go to the... Let's just go check. It is still light out on the island a lot later. No, no star fruit. All right. Uh, all that other stuff we were going to do, that's over. i got to put those back in. We'll do Ancient Fruit Wine. Wrong. Which, oh, is it this one? Good project for today. Get, get this shed all reloaded up. I see that one. Any others sitting quiet? 
see that they are. So, that gives us a moment here. And... Come on. I'll do that, and then do that. And then I think... I'm going to do that and that and let's pull these down uh, they're going to have four on one side one, two, three, four so one of these can go here And then what I'm thinking is dehydrator and hopper, uh, or the, yeah, the hopper, right, to feed in there, and then the, the fish smoker with a hopper for coal there. So let's put these two, and these are our raccoon friends, or any other preserve jarry type stuff there, and we'll make this a double aisle of all the kegs right up the middle here now. And then we can expand in with additional uh crystallariums there speaking of which i see the ads getting close here so we got all that what is a uh, crystallarium five two one and 99. The stone is actually going to be the problem at the moment. Uh, let's put these blueberries up. And these ancient fruits up. And uh, the empty canister can sit in there as well, I think, for now. This and this. Yeah, my numbers are all too similar. <laughs> I have like 102 on one of the Twitch clocks. Uh, and I'm worried about 1.30 in the morning. So tomorrow is festival day. I, I kind of hope. Well, it doesn't really doesn't matter much at all. I kind of hope it's uh, another neutral or similar day for the feast. Uh, it won't affect us giving a gift to Robin. Um, and since it's a shorter day, um, there's a lot more we could be doing with super happy spirits in addition to Juno Cart if we needed to. bananas and mangoes. Nice leisurely return. Did I fertilize this guy? I think I did, but it hasn't seemed to have much effect yet. Already fertilized. Alright, I hope it's not obstructed. Sometimes those just take their own sweet time, too. And there's our... Oh, 130 right on cue. And sleep. About the only thing I didn't do in this day that I would have loved to, I would have loved to hit the uh, the bus stop to check the tree chapper, 
the tree tappers there and get them in. All right, we are in the midst of an ad break. I'm going to leave it here so everybody can see the total because it's nice. I will be right back. Okay, quick one. Uh, I guess we still got 30 seconds left. All right, we'll mute one more time. I will drink heartily. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I uh, had some water, had some coffee, and we are ready for sp uh, winter feast, winter star. I'll get it. There it is. Oh, and here's our kid. I wonder if our kid's position has anything to do with the spirits. Like, does he get conveniently located? Uh, when the spirits are happy? Very, of course they are. Alright. Abigail. Oh, thank you. I need to... Well, here, I'll give you a blackberry cobbler before the feast to uh, celebrate this winter star day. And now we've got a crab cake that I don't need. Uh, we do need to grab a lucky lunch to remind us. And... Uh, let's just see what all we've got for Robin here. Uh, all we have is goat cheese that we know she loves. Um, I was... I think she loves peaches? But do we have a goat cheese? Not there. Uh, do we have one up at the house? Uh, it would be over here. No, it would be in here. I don't think I put any in because I... Uh, didn't think of... Oh, I thought I, I you know, oh yeah, we should be able to make a goat cheese. We did, and we sold them all. So hopefully I made goat cheese yesterday. Can't remember. Hello, chickens. Happy winter. Winter Star. Hope you're all well. Did I get all of you? I guess I did. I didn't get that one, though. Got some eggs. We'll let those extra things grow for a bit. So this is a nice day because it's busy and we got a an early feast that I don't want to miss out on. Let's not forget the pigs. Um, I want to, uh, be able to skip the greenhouse. Uh, we might get the tea and the fish. Ah, oh, damn it, what's wrong, Jesus? Uh, I'm gonna have to give her a peach and hope. I think it's a peach. It's just from past playthroughs, I'm going off memory. Oh no, we'll have the we'll have the little gift giver thing. We're all right. This is something you moms out there are probably really good at, and I'm not. Um, does she like iridium? That seems odd. But do I dare trust it? Spirits are happy. Here, we'll do these and these. Go a few 
feast has already begun. Bones. Those up. Well, I kind of want to try giving it to her. Because I've never given her Iridium. Uh, we don't need any of that stuff. I do want to get here. Just for the tea, because it's a one day. One a day, so... Not getting it uh, costs us. Uh, but the trees, right? Those will just do their thing. Uh, again, tomorrow. Okay. A few little odds and ends to sell and put up, and then uh, we're good. Forget, didn't you? Go classy pants. Red does the red top doesn't exactly match, but that's all right. So and so. All right, we're rolling the dice on a big day, but see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew we were gonna have harvesting to do. All right. Well, here we are at the feast. Hey, Marnie. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. It's a time to be thankful, brother. Don't forget to put your butt under the tree. Uh, hi. Oh, that was Lewis. Hey, Jazz. Presents! I'm still upset I didn't win. Yeah, I didn't win either this year. It was all Willy. Oh, what a beautiful tree. It is. Hey, Willy. Yes. It's a tradition. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is. But in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Awesome! Thanks for the sharing. That was good. Uh, we gotta go around to see Marlin. Hey, good afternoon. Happy festival. Hey, Linus. I joined in, but I don't think I you are welcome. Don't. What example is that to set for Leo? Linus feels uncomfortable about joining it, so I'm keeping him company. All right. That's a good way to look at it. We'll have our own little feast. Mashed winter root and spiced berry fish. No, come to the tables. Good. Spiced berry fish? Sometimes, uh, some t spending time with family is tiring sometimes. I can read. Uh, n yes, because I'm afraid if I don't. Uh, or oh, so it's you. An Iridium bar. Thanks. I'm always afraid if I yeah, chicken out, if I say no, I think I'll never be able to give it to him. Sam? Is that Sam? I think that... Yeah, it's Sam. Hey, Habich, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Oh, thanks, Sam. Here, open it. CD. CD. I want his CD. CD? <laughs> or Deluxe Speed Grow. That works just as well. Hey, thanks, man. That's really awesome of you. Uh, no, I really like it. Thank you. Fantastic. What a good time of year for a diet. Oh, thanks, Sam. Thank you for my guitar, my skateboard, and my family, I guess. And speed grow. Hey, Mary. Hi. I feel like we should talk more. I'll probably get another set of tools this year. We open presents now? I already opened mine. Uh, don't hold back on my account. 
Good afternoon, Habitch. Happy feasting. Thank you. Uh oh. I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? Alright. Uh, we're saving Abigail for last because she's specialist. Oh, hello. Oh, my, it's cold here. It's freezing. No, I got my Santa hat on. Feast for some stupid star. Humbug. Well, uh, embrace the Santa spirit then. Hey, Haley. Hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. Uh, I th thought your camera was working great. What are you hoping to find on the street? Uh, spiced meat. Ooh, that sounds nice. Got my taste. Hey, Harvey. Thankful there were no medical emergencies. Uh, I had a few. Uh, it's a fine art making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red coloring, and it's all natural. Oh, and you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you got to keep promise to keep an absolute secret. It's a drop. All right, thanks for the secret tip. Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make sure we have a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you okay? You're falling asleep. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Uh, Gus was just telling you about the artisan candy canes. I think he had too much cinnamon nog. Uh, I think he's just excited. Why, hello, Habbage. It's chilly, isn't it? Eh, not too bad. You know, that long, thick hair. Uh, all these families, but for me, just another lonely year. Don't say that. Go date Emily. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Uh, Caroline? Ooh, I've had too much nog. Never! To lie. Hey, Pierre! Um. I think we bought a lot of these in the past. I've got so many houseplants. Uh, we could probably use another couple windows, though. for all our new rooms. Okay, thank you. Uh, and last but not least, oh, my darling wife. How you doing? I hope you enjoyed that blackberry cobbler I gave you earlier today. If I could lick one of those canes. <laughs> You've had too much sugar, dear. Let's go home. Come on, follow me. I, I know you're sneaky. You're just moving stealthily. Anything more from Lewis? Nope. All right. Bye, everybody. Hope you had a great time. All right, now down to business. This could be it, guys. We do have our lucky star. I'd love to go get those uh, those tappers cleared, too, but this is the got to be the priority, right? If we get it all done, then we'll go victory lap it with our, uh, our tappers. I have a key! Uh, not cool. <laughs> I have a town to every building during closed hours. I know it's a festival day. I don't give a lick. Why can't I get in there? Oh, this is going to be devastating. If that was my one truly happy spirits day, and it got wrecked because of the feast? Oh, I'm going to see Dark Havage come out. Uh, this could be our night to go home early, though, actually. Oh, look at that. We got a new, a new mystic tree, so we'll have to bring a, uh, bring a hardy tapper up there. A hefty or a burly or big or heavy, heavy tapper? Alright, well, let's, uh, let's get to bed early. I don't know what time you have to get to bed before. Hey, honey. Uh, Merry Winter Star. We're gonna turn out the lights. Maybe the magic will happen. The spirits were very happy, at least. Hey, there's Yurik. What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. We just had some uh, Winter Star feasting activity. It is now Clint's birthday. Um... Change. Hey, 
Hey, honey. The town today. I might just stretch my legs a little bit. All right, I'm fine. Uh, let's get some windows going in our dining area. That's why the ornate seems nice. Hey, kiddo. He likes the windows. Let's look outside. The snow. Okay. Everything else here can go outside. I'm good, but I'm very bored every time I go on my computer. My friend came over, and he had his laptop with him. He didn't know what to play. Like, we went on Fortnite, but that didn't last long. Uh, eh, sometimes, I, I get that too. Uh, streaming really helps. Having people drop by keeps you engaged. But yeah, I, um, I can totally relate to sitting down and being like, you know, I got this Steam... Steam stack of games, and nothing is hitting me right now. Um, but, hey, that's alright. Uh, yeah, you can watch me be inspired for some Stardew, maybe. Wait, did we even look at the spirits today? I don't think we looked at TV, did we? We saw our kiddo and uh, put up the windows, and I think I forgot. Please, 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 spirits, have us another happy day. Let's go about our business, though, while we're down here. Get all of you. Uh, no more five dino eggs. Ducks, how you doing? Did I get these two? No. Nope. Well, at least not one of them. Uh, there's always Junimo cart, right? That's what we're hoping for. Wait, we just did this. See, I'm going all backwards. Am I gonna... I'm slacking on my fish. Anything big in here? Oh, oh, double wine. And we can move these kegs. Alright, uh, put you up. That's more tree fur. I didn't get the, uh, blueberries. Which, uh, we might be done with now. Let's go get something else to dry. I guess there's nothing else to put back in there. Alright, so we've got two sheds. Uh, this should easily take care of both. Lots of wine. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, one done.
We're gonna have a fairly nice cash day today. Gotta take the extra time. Get make sure we don't miss any, right? Because this is weeks of uh, well, a week each of time. All right, then. I'm gonna go here, and we're gonna put these two there and there. Two more ancient fruits so that they are well indicated. And so now we'll just run our, our shed kegs uh, parallel. That goes in. Anything else here? I think so. All right, let's get back up to the house. It's probably a neutral day, I'm guessing. I'm guessing I did check the TV. Look at that, 129. Uh, I don't know why that's one shorter. It's a little frightening. Uh, but whatevs. And is it neutral? Did I already look? Very, oh, fantastic. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's just pitch the coffee and this in here. What did I do with that lucky? Oh, it's still there. Um, so it's only 110. It's Friday. Let's go. There we go. So a big part of this is I want to get all this stuff harvested before we get into the spring crop planting too, right? So that's going to be two days of busy. And hopefully, if, if the spirits really are happy today, uh, then hopefully we will be all good. Free to focus on setting up our fields. I almost missed these guys. Uh, for our next. Speed this up a little bit. We now have lots and lots of these seeds. Oh, excuse me. I had such a uh, such guilty egg sandwiches for breakfast this morning. They were so good though. Eh, they weren't. They weren't terribly bad. It was uh. Turkey sausages, turkey sausage links cut on toast with a, a fried egg and American cheese. 
so good. I love, love an egg sandwich with a little bit of a runny yolk. And um, some little cheese in there. It's good either. Uh, hey, Merskola. Merskola. Merskola, how are you doing? Welcome in. Glad to have you. Um. Hola. Uh, we'll get you right back with a follow. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I am just replanting my fields in Stardew Valley. This is our little island home. Uh, we're about to dive into a mini game. Because uh, we got a little a little challenge called Let's Play a Game. Uh, I think you can score 50,000 points in Junimo Kart Endless Mode. Prove it. Uh, and we, on... Uh, Monday of this week, we got to uh, 41.3, uh, so we're close, um, but we had uh, decent spirits today. We've got really happy spirits, so we're going to boost up all our luck and go play some arcade games and see if we can't uh, can't get a uh, even higher score. And I haven't ever gotten 50,000 in previous saves of this game, so uh, hoping... Fingers crossed, hoping we can uh, pull that off today. And uh, maybe you are just a lot. Oh, damn it. I just chopped that tree. Um, I wanted that tree to grow up and be big and strong. Uh, so this is this is Mr. Key. He's the guy that asked us to do that. Uh, never stop striving to achieve perfection, right? So we've got this uh, little quest board here, and this is the one that we decided to do. And it's got a shop where we have uh, lots of coins, but uh, want to get uh, some more items uh, out of here that we can use up. So that's why we're playing that, and it's awesome. Uh, so I think we're good on our island. Let's get back home horseback and we'll go drop off all of these wine making ingredients it's only six and time will basically stop once we get into the arcade mode so uh, all good there look at all these star fruit and unfortunately we're gonna try anyway I don't think the TV was right. I don't think our spirits are as happy as they said. Look at our look at our distribution of ancient fruits. We only got 43 gold stars, 71 silver, and 108 regular. It's fine for making wine, but as an indicator of spirits, uh, again, same kind of deal with the pineapples, um, doesn't appear to be very lucky. So that sucks. But we'll go... I'm going to put away some of the rest of this stuff. I, I don't have coffee beans on me. Uh, you can go in there. Okay, maybe the spirits will surprise us. Maybe we will outplay the spirits. In there. Uh, what was I putting on here? Slime? And then pineapples. I did this wrong. Ginger goes in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and sell one pineapple seed. Oh, I moved all this stuff. This is going to take me forever to unlearn. That's right there now. All right, let's go to town and play some arcade games. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I'm sorry. My Spanish is worse than your English. I promise. Uh, buenos dias. I'm assuming Spanish since you, you gave me a hola. Uh, my pronunciation is bad too. I took a little Spanish in college, like intro Spanish, but it, it, 
Uh, didn't didn't really take. It was more filling a credit uh, <laughs> that I needed. So, all right, this is a lucky lunch. It sounds like you know Stardew Valley though, and that's outstanding. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you know Junimo Card at all. Um, but fantastic. Thank you very much for the compliment of the farm too. I love it. So again, here we go. We're at 41,310. We need to get over 50,000. Um, and we're just hoping that these spirits do the right thing for us. Oh, <laughs> that's a fine start. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Uh, well, you seem to type it very well, so kudos to you. Short little hops are just brutal today. Whew. Woo! All right, first stage. <laughs> you should have seen me a long time ago. Are you good at it? Do you got this game down? that short tall it doesn't make sense i hate that little section where it's like uh, a tall bit uh, right before a last one but it's only two higher uh oh God. but yeah i'm looking i'm looking for a juno mccart sensei who is good at this to help me on my way Hey, forgive me for asking, but are you a uh, are you a YouTube viewer? I had a comment from somebody, and the name sounded kind of like yours, I think, but I can't remember. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm equally delighted if you just found us through Twitch. But uh, somebody the other day had just uh, uh, subscribed and uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, which uh, is nice. Uh, we really put our focus on Twitch over here, but, um... No, 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 no! I'm always curious if people, uh... 
some of our, our great Twitch friends have come from YouTube, which is uh, always really cool. No, not a YouTuber. Just passing by. Well, uh, hey. I hope uh, I hope it's not a one of one. It would be great to keep seeing you around. We do this. Uh, we started back in the day with a lot more Minecraft, but we do uh, do some Lord of the Rings. We do a lot of uh, people love Stardew, so we do a lot of that. Um, we die at Junimo Cart quite a bit. Okay, back to the ice. Getting getting a little rhythm rocking now. Let's go get some whales. Oh, shut up. Oh, stupid rocks. Yeah, uh, we don't care too much about how many we have. It's the awesome people that we meet along the way that we care about. Oh. Uh, I am just outside of Denver, Colorado, USA. How about you? Columbia. Very nice. I have not been, but I'd love to get there. Uh, closest I've been is uh, Costa Rica. Yeah, sadly, haven't spent any time in South America. But as with many places, it's on my bucket list. Oh, miss the grape. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, more so, uh, well, uh, Costa Rica was actually fairly recent. Um, I haven't done quite as much international travel as I'd like of late, but... Um, I needed a bubble. Whales are tough. We made it past the whales once uh, in yesterday's stream. And that's why we're really hoping for some very happy spirits today. Oh, because they can... Uh,
Ain't that perfect? Wow, it just skeeted me right on off that. Ugh. Trash. Uh, so do you do any streaming? Merskola? So that reminds me of the name Bear Skull. I think it's a beautiful name. I don't know if that's your name. Uh you can't can't count on that last little drop. I've learned that in the past. So about a year ago we did a big playthrough of Stardew Valley on the channel. And uh, we tried on this game. We didn't have a whole lot left in our, our world beat. We're doing completionist stuff, and I've gotten a lot of stuff done in the game. Um, but these challenges, I hadn't finished. Oh! And so we kept uh, kept at it. And I, I like, <laughs> I, I appreciate the jokingness. Like, oh, yeah, you're bad at this. It's a tough game. Um... I'm sure I'm sure there are many people that just do it and are like, whatever. Oh, you suck. That's fine. Uh, I've gotten a whole hell of a lot better though. <laughs> I used to be I used to be really, 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 really bad at this game. Uh, which just goes to show if you work hard you can uh, you can master some of these challenging stuffs. No Um Yeah. And I'm really hoping to not have to play it as continuously in this ser oh, series. Using what I learned and hopefully getting some actual good spirits. Oh! It was too many little bounces. Oh, uh, well, Minecraft can get us any time. Plus, Minecraft's just about how you want to play it. Oh. Do you want to play it on, uh... On hardcore? Like I do. Uh, do you want to play some of the crazy mini-games and stuff out of modded? Uh, do you play multiplayer on a server? Are you just a creative mode kind of builder? Uh, it's easy to... Easy to find a groove in Minecraft. The only real trick there is just figuring out you don't have to you don't have to do exactly what a big streamer does to and have fun in Minecraft. Ah, I haven't got that little section figured out. Clearly. And then I, I totally hit the sign because I was worried about him not hitting the grape. Nope. Uh, well, there is a little bit of that. Um, and we, we vary. You know, it's the middle of the week. Uh, we've got... I love our community that I <sighs> that has come together around uh, this channel and kind of just the way that I 
I lightheartedly kind of enjoy the games and we talk about random stuff. Um, I'm interested in, in the folks that do drop by. For instance, Columbia. I don't... Uh, I've known people from Columbia, but I don't know a lot. Um... I would struggle to... I know Bogota. Uh, but I would struggle to come up with, like, what's the second biggest city. And I don't know if that makes that where you're from or not. Uh, Medellin, right? The cartel city. Um, is there a... See, the problem is, I, I know a lot of, a lot of places uh, can have similar sounding names. Is there a Las Cruces in Colombia? Like, here in, here in the States, I think a lot of, a lot of people just, just know of Colombia from the movies, and, you know, so, oh, everybody there is a, uh, uh, a producer of uh, coca. I'm quite confident, although I, I can't speak with any certainty, but I'm guessing that is not at all the case. That yeah, I mean it's it's there. Hey, look, we got here in the United States, we got lots of uh, uh, lots of folks doing illegal stuff and all that too. Uh, Cartagena, 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 right? I think I've heard of Cartagena. Ah. <laughs> uh, I try I try really hard and I try like you know it's it's tough when you're in a stream like this to keep track of everybody but um I've surprised a few folk that have come back you know uh, attendance is not required it will give you a uh, give you passes, you know, and you're out doing other stuff. Uh, but people come back and be like, oh, man, I've been back around a while. And it's like, wait a minute. Aren't you the one that had a, uh, a pet, uh, guinea pig named David? And, uh, had the purple hair? I'm kidding. I'm making fun of Abigail, my, uh, in-game wife here, but, um... I'll try to remember things about people, uh, either where they're from or if there's something that they they particularly are into. Uh, really helps if folks are streamers on their own, and I get to check your channel out too. Then I uh, I stand a much oh you jerk bubble. <laughs> I stand a much better chance of uh, remembering stuff about you. Ah, uh, I'm not. That's kind of the one thing I don't really do. Uh, I, haven't, I guess I haven't gone through this in a bit. Um, so I'm pretty much a single player vanilla guy of of all games. Um, and I I never say never, but it's not something I have done and probably not likely to be, um, because I. Uh, really, it goes back to my early days when I was working in IT, and I was on call a lot, right? And so in, uh, like, MMORPGs, um, whether it's Lord of the Rings or, um, I used to play some Knights of the Old Republic, or The Old Republic, 
SW Tour. Little tiny, tiny little bit of World Warcraft back in the day. Just a little bit. Mostly Lord of the Rings. Uh, but you know, you'd like queue up to get in a quest or something like that, and then I would get I would get pulled away and I feel felt terrible about it. Um so I just really didn't do that kind of content ever, and by the time I got into uh playing, I just kinda you know, like this is uh, this is the mode that I do stuff in. Um, so, uh, I, I love that people think that sounds appealing, and, um, oops, missed the grape. Uh, would like to, uh, would be even interested in entertaining that, but, uh, it's kinda not... Not my jam, so... Probably not. Uh, yeah, I've never played multiplayer Minecraft. I've never played multiplayer um, Stardew. I've had some some very generous uh, offers from uh, some content creators in Minecraft that have literally, like... You know, compared to where we were at, just absolutely blown up uh, with servers, with group streams, and all that kind of stuff. And even at the time, I was like, "Nah, I... I'm so unpredictable in my schedule in my own life that uh, trying to coordinate with folks is one thing. Um, and when you uh, join in for that group content kind of stuff, there, there's whether it's stated or not, there's kind of an expectation that you're going to put in your diligence and uh, hang out with with the others and help everybody's channels grow. Um, and I love I love that community and that appeal. I just I know you know I came back uh, recently from very unexpectedly two weeks of not streaming at all. Um, and I know that freaked a lot of people around here out a bit. And I, I'm still apologizing. Uh, but it was just honestly because uh, I, I'm a big uh, sports fan. Um, and got distracted with uh, a couple of Colorado teams in the hockey and basketball playoffs. And uh, my time that I normally allocate to streaming got eaten up. So... Um, that's likely to happen when I go, you know, visit family or uh, get busy with other projects and stuff that it just, uh, not, I'd rather consume that content, I guess, than create it. It's the second time, uh, one was in game day yesterday where we got blown up off screen by a rock. That one wasn't a rock spell. Are you, are you kidding me? That was like the easiest jump ever. All I had to do was just fall down. Uh -huh. Nope. Missed it again. Oh. That was a mercy rock. That one just took me out to end the pain. Oh, come on! It's easy. Easy stuff.
Feels too easy. Where's the where's the catch? Well, and that like that's a really good reason to do it, uh, especially if you're a new streamer uh, trying to get going. Oh, that was awful. Um, it can be a really good way to get through the uh, uh, those early days when your your channel otherwise might not have anybody that's found it. Um, oh, we got an ad coming up. Uh, we run ads once an hour. Uh, don't worry though. We'll we'll probably be June a moment. No, we'll we'll back out and go to the high score, and I'll take a, a quick little break while we do. Oh, this is the cherry. Um, oh, rock threw me off. Uh, yeah, we, we do do the ads a little bit. Um, but we only do them once an hour, and I try to minimize the amount of actual content uh, that interrupts. Like, I'll, I'll usually just take a break during that time, so you guys don't miss out on anything. Sometimes, though, uh, if we're in the heights of stuff, uh, we'll keep going, uh, or we'll just not really be able to stop. Or I won't even notice that the ad is there, because I'm deep, deep in some game. Uh, so, you know, subs. Uh, Turbo? Is that what the Twitch thing is? Alright, there's our ad. Ah! Alright, well that was perfect. Alright, uh, we're gonna pause it up here. Um, it's 740, right? So time didn't really move, and our, uh, lucky lunch is not going away. So that's all cool, we'll just chill here. <laughs> I know, it's tough on the Junimos. Uh, we'll be right back, all right? Alright, I am back. After you go to the restroom, you gotta drink more water, right? That's always the way it is. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, let's wait till the ad's over. Can't be asking questions of people that just followed.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for sticking around and supporting us through the ads. We are back and uh, ready for more Junimos. If I can click on the game. Oh, I thought <laughs> I was looking at the fireplace. Endless mode. We haven't moved up significantly. It hasn't been particularly good. I'm not particularly sure that this is a lucky day. And, of course, now we're back out of our mode. Get the cursor out of the way. Oh! See what was coming, though? That looked nasty. Had to go high there. Well, that's great. Lovely. Yes, yeah, so many Junimos uh, were killed for these plans. Go a little Star Wars. Many Boffins. run it on out. Alright, 3,000. Come on, whale. Oh. I honestly, on the whale, I don't care too much about the fruit. If we could get through it, uh, obviously we'll take whatever fruit we can, but it is... so hard to match those variable bubbles like sometimes they're deadly sometimes they bounce you up so you gotta land on them are you kidding catch them from above Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there's definitely a rhythm thing to it, uh, so the more you play, the better off you get. Mm -hmm. 
And I'd love for this to be the day we beat it. <sighs> Big jump. <sighs> Bigger jump. I yeah, appreciate that, though. I, I appreciate the, uh, the feedback. Too much. Come on. Got lucky there. I shouldn't have jumped. I should have just let it fall. All right. That's twice now. I think that seriously that this is not actually the oh the lucky spear day that one's just bad on me. Um, so I'm, I'm occasionally just getting borked on the jumps. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm just making excuses. That was probably my fault. Why did I decide to jump right into it? I might have made it underneath. Hit the jump. Ah!
Ah! Ah! Uh, let's give it a few more. Let's see if we can get one more through the ice, or how far into the ice. And then maybe we'll wrap up this day. See if we can do it. No cherries up there. <laughs> so where that bubble was gonna kill me after it passed it. Right. Damn it! Oh <sighs> See, as soon as that happens, then I'm like, oh, okay, we got further than we've been. Maybe we can get it done in this start of day. like it was setting me up for a nice easy Oh That's it. That's it. Uh, I do want to check the scores, though. 39. So we did get a new second score. I was hoping we'd have two up in the 40s now, but uh, we did move this one up significantly. So <sighs> just a little bit less than yesterday's. All right. Uh, we're not done by any means, but let's get back over to the farm. Uh, we went up and got our stuff, I think, tomorrow. Uh, luck and all that aside, right? We can go do uh, Junimo Kart at night. Um, let's go get some coffee done. Uh, we did come in here, right, to get the... No, we didn't get the tea. Oh, and... What? How are these already at two? Get our tea. All of our fruit trees. We are still waiting for a Silver Star Banana. Uh, once we get that, we will complete all of the shipping items for the achievements, which will be nice. And I think we got Sous Chef, uh, so that's good. All right, that's all good. I'm going to do coffee, and then I'm going to go to bed, because I would also like to... Uh, have special time with Abigail and maybe have our second child uh, started, right? Uh, first step is getting uh, getting us pregnant. Nope. Uh, 
Uh, we just put away the uh, the non-starred stuff. Let's do this quick. Do do. Uh, and we want to start thinking about the layout of the farm. We only got a couple days left on that as well. Drop off the coffee. Go to bed. Say hi to Skash. Where is Abigail? Uh, oh, she's still at the saloon. Um, hadn't counted on that. Our kiddo's in bed. Wait, he still sleeps in the crib, so maybe... Maybe he's got to be toddling before... There she is. Hey, honey. Did you have a good day? Mine went well. It's refreshing to take a walk. Yeah, so I get this alone. Remember, I was playing Junimo Kart. It was really fun. All right. Oh, are you going to bed on this side? All right, I'll get in. I'll get in, too. Uh, get in the bed. All right, there we go. Good night. Oh, oh, I forgot about all our wine. Look at this day. Three quarters of a million valley bucks. Starter bucks. Got some slimes. Hopefully they're purple. Hey, kiddo. Grow up big and strong so I can have another kid. You might have to do some redecorating now and then, do you? I'm still excited to have a place of my own. Work. Yeah, keep uh, keep working on all these extra rooms. Just don't put stuff in the way. How about that? All right, TV, tell me about my luck. Come on, come on, come on. Good humor. Little extra. Uh, that was what it was on Monday. Bread. Oh, we still got to go to Pierre's, too. Maybe we'll do that today. Uh, put this bread away. I know it's way out of our... Oh, don't you, kid? Listen. Uh, let's get speedy. Oh, uh, is it Cl was it Clint's birthday yesterday? Oh, crap. We, we might have missed Clint's birthday. No, Clint! Don't forgive us. We'll bring him a bar of Iridium. I love it. Also, we never checked. Did Robin love our... Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Yikes. How did our Statue of Endless Fortune for give us so... Wow. I guess it doesn't work on the Festival of Winter Star at all, huh? Uh, maybe it wasn't aware that it was a, uh, a big festival. Shoot! That's why she moved down to uh, right above all the... the t Man, I, I messed that up. Well, you know, Robin, I I wouldn't guess that Deluxe Speed Grow is my favorite gift, but I didn't hold it against Sam, did I? No, I was like, thank you. I appreciate the gift. I can use this. I'm guessing you could use that Iridium. Maybe make yourself a better axe like the one I got, huh? Let's not be so, uh, so uppity. That sucks. I was hoping to discover a new loved gift, but no. Uh, but you know what everybody likes? It's not true. I was gonna say, everybody loves Dino Mayo. I, I gotta imagine that's not a universal love. Oh, we got a new quest for our fishies, though. 
Uh, so Clint, we know, loves gold bars. But I think he loves iridium bars, too. And, oh, we never got more fruit to put into uh, the dehydrators. So we got to do that. They want a... See, this is why we have, have the extra uh, preserves jar. We can do jellies. Nothing... Oh, yeah, we do need these guys. Um, so let's, uh, let's try to think here as we go. Um, what's our, uh, what's our next crops gonna be? Um, I definitely think we're gonna go a lot more ancient fruit in here uh, which we probably need to seed maker up some more seeds for right uh, we've got 96 so three sections so we would need 48 more ancient fruit seeds uh, maybe we can tie that into the island um, and I want to go check on the slimes too Oh, I should have come back here after, but let's get, uh, 56 will be fine. Uh, let's just go do this. Can't believe Robin hated my Winter Star gift. Who doesn't love Iridium? Why am I here? What am I doing? Killing time, really. Oh, we can go get mangoes up here, though. Twenty. Uh, anything else we need to check on here? Why oh, do we have four? Let's Take those. There we go. We're halfway. Thirty six. Uh, we can get mushrooms. Oh, this isn't the mushroom cave, is it? Five. All right, that will do it once we get done with this. Come on. Dozen more. All right, we are good there. Oh, excuse me. Didn't have it. Damn it. <sighs> uh, now how many did I have? Shoot. Fifty some. We need one thirty eight. Seventy some.
Wait, 96, 96, we need, uh... One twenty, right? Yeah, I'm not going to the mushrooms. Good. Not gonna do it. I'm just gonna be patient. Cause I'm patient, right? Fifty-three. I. We need to get up close to seventy-two. We'll see. See where we end up. We'll put this one in and just leave it. Hey, Raviolin! How are you doing today? Welcome. Welcome in. Sixty-two. I don't need to be doing that. I need to get home. Uh, how's your week been so far? Hope all is, uh, all is treating you well. Uh, let's try not to forget Clint. Uh, let's try not to forget that we've got a chest right here for this algae. Uh, we're kind of a bit all over the place, though. Oh. Alright, so where did we end up here? I don't need to summon a horse. Boom! Look at us! You guys can't see the arms in the air, but uh, happy days. All right, so that takes an entire section uh, over on the other, uh, other side, right? That the Junimos will just harvest up our ancient seeds. Uh, we won't have to deal with it, and they'll go all season long. Then... Uh, we've got 77 strawberries. I think I have no coffee beans in here, but what we'll probably do is 72 strawberries, three sprinklers worth, and then we'll have two extra, and I'll put coffee in there. And then in the summer, we can replace the strawberries with blueberries. We'll still get uh, another good batch of coffee, but we've got a load that we never even got to making this year. Uh, and it'll be a good long while before we ever catch that up. We've also got plenty uh, to keep us in triple espresso as much as we need. So I think that'll take care of our um, our far end. Uh, we've got a lot of speed grow, but not, not enough. So we'll, let's go get more of that. And then for the rest of spring... That's a lot of beans. I guess we'll pull those. Um, broccoli is fall. Carrots are spring. I don't have any carrots. We should go hoe some stuff today, too. Uh, see if we can get some more carrots cranking. God, I gotta get... Uh, I'd like to get Robin working on the next shed, too, even though she's mad at me. Maybe she'll be happier if I spend some cash with her, right? Uh, look at all this stuff that I have for spring. I'm going to get all this pulled up. Fall seeds. Garlics. Those are spring. And a full stack. We've got jazz. Uh, and we have kale in the spring. And parsnips. Look at me. I, I must have just been so flush with cash. I was like, we're doing it all. Uh, and taters. I don't have any rhubarb seeds yet. Um, but we could always replace garlic... Uh, I can do, like, a full top five here in cauliflower to start things off. And then we can do our beans and our jazz seeds up around the things. We're going to plant the rest of the jazz. I think I have that uh, intentionally bought to uh, cover our beans and then uh, do a plot. And we need the jazz for more lucky lunches, right? We'll probably try to grow quite a bit of that this summer. Um... 
But the potatoes and the parsnips, which we can do as extra, oh, even the kale, any of that we can all switch out to uh, replace our... Man, this is great! I We've got uh, farming pretty much licked today. Uh, obviously, we're gonna have to do. A, we're gonna have to go get more deluxe speed grow, um, and we'll grab these coffee beans to have over here ready to go. All right, well, let's go shopping then. That that's way easier. Um, all right, so the sapling will divide us, and then we're gonna have strawberries and coffee. And ancient seeds all going in over on the far side of the farm. Uh, we're going to have beans and jazz up around the honey. And then the beans over by the Junimos as well. We're going to do five uh, sections of cauliflower all at the same time. So that those can all finish and be done. Um, and then garlic and taters. And uh, parsnip and kale. And we may go get uh, go get a pack of rhubarb as well, uh, just to have some going, because I think we're a little tight. All right, let's go. I can't believe I just came over to this chest and I didn't put away the stuff I needed to. All right. Uh, tea and mangoes. And then let's go see... Uh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I know you were talking about working on the garden. I still have been slacking. I have not gotten my garden in. Let's check. Oh, here we go. Uh, this might set us up with some carrots if I can get enough. Well, I think we only get like two, three. Two. So that's 14. Still don't have a full section of carrots. Uh, but we can replace, replace other stuff. All right, here's Pierre. Hey, buddy. Uh, I don't remember how much I need of any of this stuff, but I think sugar and flour we got a bunch of already. Um, the heck, though. kick myself if we're over buying on this stuff but I uh... Look at that on a dime it's like playing the gas the gas station game You're trying to fill up your tank and get as close to the dollar amount as you can little uh little quick there little high, although we had more sugar and flour in some of those than the others. Uh, so this should take care of us. I don't anticipate running it short on any of those materials. Uh, and then <laughs> skeleton wallpaper. That's hardcore. Winter flooring. Um, I think we have flooring in the catalog, right? All right. Let's go over to Clint's, and then we'll go up to Ro- Oh, can we make it to Robin's? Yikes. Come on, come on, fly. Fly, Welsh Pony, fly. Shop. This is why we make money. <laughs> so we can reinvest it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. 
Uh, we need to make more kegs, right? So that's kind of the push here. And then I want to do one of these. And then a furniture catalog. I don't have that yet. Small windows and basic windows. I think we're good. Got any spare construction material to sell? Never, Robin. All right, now let's get out and back in before she closes. Before she closes, farm buildings uh, need another shed. Okay, thank you. Now, Clint is closed, but he doesn't come out to head over to the saloon until evening, 7-ish. Um, and just because he's closed, it doesn't mean he's not in there, so we should be able to uh, just go jap nap, rap gently on his door and come on in. Bub, 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 bub. Hey, there he is. Look at him working. How are your tools holding up? If they ever need repairs, just come to the shop. I guarantee these tools for life. Oh, that's so cool of him. Uh, Well, I'm just here. I'm sorry I missed your birthday yesterday, but uh, I wanted to let you know I haven't forgotten you. Uh, have fun, man. All right. Oh, I already have my horse. That was not what I was looking for. I wanted to whoosh home. Uh, lots of stuff bought. I think next up are more kegs. So we need these and these. Oh, and then I need one of these at least with some hardwood. Make another heavy tapper. Pull that up, those up. And then let's horse. Oh, can't go through there. It's not going to get better in the summer when I'm running into stuff. 13. Uh, we'll put all this up for now. And in fact, let's pull that down. So all I need to do is this whole bottom row uh, for our first day of spring for planting. And we're ready to go there. And then let's come on over to the shed and the uh, well, the sheds, the, the shed, which is the one with all the stuff in it. And then the uh, other keg shed. Keep working on filling up in here. Oh, are you kidding me? There we go. Uh, I do have to go over to the shed, though, so... Oh, and I never got cranberries, damn it. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, so tonight it is very dark early. It's only 6.50, and yes, it is, uh, significantly dark. Raviolin may be, uh, maybe gone by now, but... Certainly would appear to be dark. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start doing dried cranberries, another staple of 
snacks and salads and trail mixes and all that. So we'll get uh, these guys started. There. And then I want to take my furniture catalog. Ooh, it's big, boy. Uh, does it not... Why won't it go... Is that because I'm not there? Doesn't it seem like that should be the fit against the wall? Alright, well, we'll still have a little get-through up there. And then this one... Uh, this is where we confirm that we don't have things like Junimo lamps. Um, I wish these would tell you how much, how many fit, how much fish, how many fish fit in those. Um. Kind of cool. Um, can't get into it just yet. I like that there's a wine table, though. That's uh, that's very fitting for us. Uh, we do now have access to all the sconces. So here... I can add uh, some light. Get in there. To our little shed area. And yeah, we'd put these over here. Uh, they can probably stay. So our... Uh, this is all of our wallpaper and flooring. So, for instance, that little wintry-looking one that I thought about for the dining room, maybe? Uh, that's all available. Uh, we're Don't worry, we're going to do lots of decorating, interior and exterior. Uh, we're just still still kind of trying to get all of our uh, functionality stuff done. So that's the whole thing, wallpaper and flooring. Okay, and then here are our Junimo things. So we're looking for any... De there's, like, what, uh, a dark and uh, some other decorative style uh, thing. But we've used some Junimo laps, a brochure cabinet, uh, lots of stuff that we can use to just get scattered around in our area. And I don't know if these are covered in the other or not, but uh, pretty good. All right, did I drop off? Yeah, I want to get back up to the house now. House? house oh good well i'm glad so yeah very dark very dark indeed and then so i'm gonna pull out this mayonnaise oh no i can't there we go <laughs> all right well now these the sugar is in place and we'll put one mayonnaise in there. We've still got a couple blue jazz uh, for lucky lunches, and we do have a bunch more in the uh, in the flowers bin. Okay. Lastly, I want to get pine cones, and I think we did the acorns, but we'll bring them just in case I'm misremembering. Let's sell that and sell that. Let's get our horse back. Uh, so what I'll, I, I don't know if I remember an answer. I apologize if I asked you this and you already answered it, but, uh, what all are you growing in your garden? And were you planting? Were you, uh, just preparing soil and stuff? What kind of, where are you at in the gardening process right now? Oh, look, we got another one. Uh, oh my God, we got so many. All right. Um. I want to put this one here first, just because we want high visibility. Uh, then I think I'm going to do these guys. Uh, 
Uh, let's pick that up. And we are at speed. Come on. I, this map move is awful. Uh, it's so hard to have your cursor moving with your body. I uh, don't want to seed on that missing tile. I do have the new stone. Sure, we have lots of these laying around somewhere, but there we go. Uh, so we want to get these in, going for spring. Uh, at the change of the season, some of them may pop to fully mature. And I, yeah, I totally forgot if you said what what you were growing in your garden. Uh, we moved several roses. Oh, nice! And also moved many young flowers from the little greenhouse area to the open soil. Oh, wonderful! Out of the frost danger, so you start them early. That's fantastic. Do you have like a full? like walk-in greenhouse area or do you have like a what we call a, uh sometimes they're called like a root cellar or a, a a cold cellar which is basically just like ground level with a little glass raisable top uh that you can start stuff with now i in colorado i don't know much about gardening i i did a little bit when i i lived with a roommate in a house i helped him uh helped him do a lot of landscaping and Little known fact about Habbage, uh, in my college job, I not only roasted sweet corn, but I helped run one of those little, uh, like, parking lot uh, greenhouses where you can go buy all your annuals, flowers, and stuff like that. Here in the States, at least, uh, it's pretty common that those sh show up at grocery stores and, uh, like, home improvement uh, shops where you can buy tools and all the rest of it. Each one will do a, a kind of a spring flower uh, nursery kind of thing. And, you know, usually they have local farmers or whatever that provide the, the started plants. But you can go in and get things like impatience and uh, begonias and uh, geraniums are big sellers in pots, but petunias and all, all those all those annuals, marigolds and whatnot. Um, and so I'd started out working uh, we'll go full story time because I can and we're almost in an ad. Um, so I was dating a girl in high school. Uh, we were really more of good friends. Uh, we were both uh, a part of a big friend group that was in cross-country skiing and cross-country running and track. All And the guys and girls teams were kind of, you know, we'd often ride the buses and stuff to the meets together, and particularly cross-country skiing, which was the smallest of those teams. Uh, we were such a tight-knit group. Like, everybody knew everybody and all that. And then we had uh, cross-country running and track. Well, we'd all... Uh, all kind of hang out and all that and um uh the girl and i dated through a good part of our senior year but we both both kind of knew uh that after high school we weren't going to be um continuing anything long term right uh i was going out of state to college and you know i, I wasn't advertising anything but i was pretty certain that that was where I wanted to live here in Colorado, not, uh, not where I'd grown up. And, um, so we, you know, we ended very amicably at the, uh, the end of our senior year. And then that summer <laughs> when I was getting ready to go off to college, I needed a job. And her dad was like, Oh, I, I do these sweet corn roasts at festivals and farms and stuff like that. Um, or, and not at the farms, uh, but basically it's a crazy story. His, so her dad grew up in the suburbs of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, you know, houses all around, uh, no, <laughs> just homes, right? People worked in the city, came, uh, came home, lived in the suburbs. And uh, his best friend in high school moved like 40, 50 miles west and became a farmer. He got a degree in forestry, I believe. Um moved west of Minneapolis and started uh, what's well, kind of a truck farm, right? He was the the largest green bean supplier for grocery stores in the area. And basically, you know, he's close enough that you could make a, a quick truck drive in. Um, 
so he was growing like all these kind of you know not growing sweet corn to feed to animals he's growing the corn that you get at the grocery store to, to cook up and put butter on and eat corn on the cob right same with green beans and tomatoes and all this stuff so uh he was kind of expanding from doing this very niche uh go to you know a little a small town has a parade has a festival in the middle of the summer uh, and they've got food vendors and a beer tent and music and parades and all that stuff uh, for a couple of days on the weekend. Well, we'd go out there and roast sweet corn. And he, at the time, uh, my my boss uh, was taking over and helping him expand to do little roadside stands, but kind of all over the city uh, that would sell all the fresh produce direct to customers, right? You cut out the middleman. You're not you're not getting a bulk price from the grocery store, uh, which is better than the bulk price you'd get at, like, say, a food cannery or something. If you were going to go get, you know, make beans for frozen green beans, that you'd you'd get a lot less than selling them fresh to the the grocery store, the market every day. Uh, but you get even more if it's your own representatives selling them for retail prices. Uh, fresh picked, and, and you know it really was, by and large, fresh picked either that day or a couple within a couple days, far fresher than anything you were getting at the the stores, right? Because stores, yeah, they deliver it same speed, right? All that stuff gets picked, it goes directly to the store, but then the store uh, distributes it out. You know, they take it to a warehouse. The store then puts it on all the trucks for all the various shops and. It, you know, it sits in a refrigerator and gets all that all that stuff before they put it out, and then they only put out so much of what they have out into the store, and it, you know, it's just sitting there. They get a couple deliveries a week. It's not every day. We were getting the truck from the farm that day, um, whether it was picked overnight or uh, or in that first morning. Uh, usually, you know, it was a late late in the last day and into the evening. They hand picked it all. They paid paid people to go out and do the harvesting, so it wasn't machine crushed or any of that fantastic stuff uh and something i could really be proud of but so that that summer was the first year that he was kind of doing it so it ended up being (laughs) kind of weird but he was a great guy and it was so easy uh it was me and my ex-girlfriend's dad spent a summer figuring out these this stand basically working it together and you know like a few weeks in he's like all right you got the stand i gotta go do other stuff And, and uh kind of took over the 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 deal and i was i was a mature kid i wasn't a a a, uh uh someone that was gonna screw around or screw off or steal from the shop or anything like that and i you know i tried to do right by the customers he he knew he could trust me pretty well so we did all that and then the next year we put up our first greenhouse in that stand with all and, and this wasn't this wasn't the farmer that we worked with directly, but another one out in his area had just all the starter greenhouses, like what you're talking about. Oh, look at that. Uh, we have, hang on, I'm going to catch up raviola and stuff here mid-story. It's that stage when many plants are growing enough to move out. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have nothing in the house, but we have several small greenhouse-like constructions. One is a walk-in, the others are like waist-high. Okay, yeah, 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 that's, uh, so... When I was growing up, we had a lot that were like maybe eight, ten inches high off the ground, but they had that droppable glass thing. And it's because uh, growing up in Minnesota, we got late frosts and unexpected, you know. So you'd have a very short growing season if you didn't get a jump on it. And I'm sure all our friends in Canada and like you, Northern Europe, same deal, right? So, uh, yeah, a lot, very familiar with all that stuff. And then. My mom starts many plants like tomatoes and peppers in town in the apartment in little boxes on her windowsill. Then she moves them to the country, to the greenhouse, and later we uh, move some of it to open soil. Some stay in the greenhouse the whole summer. Yep, Uh, it sounds sounds exactly. I know my uh, (laughs) one of my buddies here and my brother-in-law does that a lot where they'll do the seed cups, right? So you get the, you know, like a lot of people don't ever start tomatoes from seed. They start them from the little starts, uh, a little four inch plant or something like that. that you can go buy at the shop or even bigger pots with more mature plants. Um, but if you start them from seed, you, you get a whole lot more value because a little, you know, dollar pack of tomato seeds will get you a whole lot of tomato plants. And if you put in that work and do start them, you know, it's like a science project when you're a kid, 
you germinate them, you water them, you watch them sprout and grow up, and they need, they're very delicate and, and uh, threatened. Then. So, yeah, if you can put them in a, a bright, sunny window inside your heated home, they'll grow up safe. They'll usually be free of blights and that kind of stuff. And uh, no insects or birds or anything to come or rabbits to munch on them. So it's very good, very good way to do it. And then they get uh, they get that little jump. And like you said, you have a middle stage, which is wonderful, where once the, the normal daytime temperatures are warm and mild enough, uh, you can go put them in a greenhouse, put them outside, and they'll get the full daytime sunlight, really take off, and you're really just just protecting them overnight from a a frost that might come in and damage them. And at those times, it's not getting cold enough overnight that uh, your little enclosed space is going to drop down to where they'll get damaged. And they don't get that, that dangerous situation where a dew forms, everything gets wet. And then right in the coldest mornings, which is right before sunrise, uh, you get temperatures that just drop down enough to freeze all that water. And it really hurts the plants. So, awesome i love it that's so cool man oh i can smell i can just remember the the greenhouse smell as you go in oh it's so good was the exit dad the same guy who plays it's a no different <laughs> different girlfriend's dad nope those were that that girlfriend was much earlier uh that one I, it was probably more serious, especially in her mind. I, I was kind of, you know, we all go through, when you, if you've lived long enough, you look back on life and you go, you know what? I was kind of the scumbag in that. And, and certainly with the car accident dad, um, I was kind of the scumbag young teenager. I just got my driver's license. We had all this freedom. And um, I don't know. I She was, she was super super uh sweet and, and very wonderful to me and into me and all that and i just i just wasn't um but it was fun to, you know it was kind of an, an early first fairly serious girlfriend that i, I ser more seriously did. again because we had a car we could go on dates and stuff like that not just mom and dad driving us to a movie or something so it was it was kind of my first serious girlfriend but i kind of knew um it was, she really wasn't the one for me and I kind of kind of just kept it going for convenience for a while and then I did you know you just don't know you've got to learn in life I didn't know how to end a relationship kindly you know or, or anything and so I you know I I thought I, I went over to her place and I you know I I don't think this is uh this is really going I tried the whole like you know, maybe we should see other people or, or just, just try to, and unfortunately, um, I, I guess in trying to be nice, I was, I was not clear enough that, look, you know, I, I'm, it, I'm glad you like me and all that, but, uh, to be fair to you, I got to let you know, it, you know, it's not moving. And and it's easy to look back on this as an adult with years of adult relationships and friendships and all that kind of stuff and, and learn, hey, look, just be open and honest. It, it'll help. And I was kind of beating around the bush of, you know, oh, yeah, maybe we'll we'll see someday or anything like that. So months later, she – she and there were tears and all that. Oh, it was, it was miserable. I still remember that too. Um, but uh, months later, and I, I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, we're done. Uh <laughs> we've moved on um uh, she's like oh can we go out to lunch or something like that and uh totally out of the blue just gobsmacks me with the so are we gonna try getting back together again have we waited long enough and i was just devastated and i was like oh i'm so i'm such a bad person for not having been more clear uh so that one was tough but it was young you know it was young and she's a great person i i really don't have much many ties with anybody back home anymore but uh uh wonderful people and uh <laughs> very cool family um so that that one was embarrassing and all of that had just been happening as that car accident uh that you know it'd been like another x amount of time after that awkward lunch that i had the car accident and i'm like oh no oh no here we go again this is awful 
Uh, no, that so that was totally different. This other one, we were older. We were seniors, so you know, about to go off to college. And I think we both kind of knew that this was it was you know it was like late late in our our high school or you know what uh, I guess secondary school um, in Europe where we were gonna you know be done, move out, head off to our our respective schools. So it was fine. There was very, very, very little pressure on either of us to make it more than it was. And we'd been great friends for a long time. And uh, it was really, really okay. Ultimately, she ended up marrying another another friend out of that same group. And I, as far as I know, they're still happily ever after. A couple kids and, and all that, right? Moved, I moved on, but they were... They were all in my life back there, and you know, aside from two of two of my best close friends and uh, one friend who came out to college uh, that I'd known all my life, um, I really don't don't have much contact with those people. I have contact with my adult friends, right? So, anyway, this other girl, I didn't know her dad. Like, I wouldn't have known her dad at all. But as we were finishing up, he was like, "Hey, I'm you know, I'm just looking for somebody. If you want a job." Uh, come help me out. I was like, oh, that sounds great. And it was all, you know, it was cash money. Um, and uh, <laughs> we did, we did some, uh, some great stuff. And it was the best young adult job experience I ever had. I learned not only all about the produce business. Um, when, when we did these festivals, I learned about um the behind the scenes of any of those outdoor festival things from the security people, you get to know all of them. You got to know the professional vendor, the people that would travel around here. Kind of, we call them carnies, right? And in some cases there were legitimate uh, carnival people because there would be carnival rides uh, who just, you know, kind of live a bit, um, a bit like the, uh, uh, just the you know the the mobile communities that are are unsettled they just i i don't want to call them transients that's that's kind of what we call our our homeless populations who in the united states kind of move from north to south uh for the winter and then move back up go you know amidst the cities and are are basically just panhandling and begging and uh, a, you know, a lot of times there's tragic uh stories there um, but kind of more back from the 70s and 80s, you would think of carnies, uh, the carnival people. And it goes back to the traveling circuses and all that. But these days, they're really the ones that maintain the the mobile Ferris wheels and roller coasters and all that stuff that will come to a city for a long weekend or a week-long festival. Um, and then when it's over, they pack everything up. They're often on their way, and they're, they're not really tied to any direct community. Uh, they get a lot of a lot of secondhand looks because they uh, are often uh, just as in the past, you know, with Europe. And I know, I know the term is, is no longer used, but when you used to think about gypsies, right. Uh, And, you know, you go back to like a James Bond movie or something like that. They're the, the local communities can accuse them of stealing babies and, and witchcraft and all that kind of stuff. No, they're just they're They've got a niche that they fill that uh, they're uh, whether it's carnival rides or whatever else, a local community wouldn't support them permanently, uh, but by moving from community to community, they can provide a value and go through. They're not inherently better or worse than anybody else, but they have their own little microcultures that uh, oftentimes the townies or the locals or whoever is around don't fully understand. They don't really want them to. They want to have the those kind of slang words and... Um, and be able to talk behind your back and kind of get the better on deals, right? And all this kind of stuff. And it's like the rigged carnival games and all that that stuff too, right? There, they can uh, they can use their tricks because people don't see them all the time. Uh, you think to uh, some of the Mark Twain, Tom Sawyer, and Huck Finn stuff, particularly Huck Finn, as as they're moving through the communities and the the Duke and the King or whatever the you know the kind of scoundrel. Uh, scam artist guys that are moving and they're running scams on every town they go to. Uh, it, not so malicious, but there's there's always been kind of that culture here that yeah the the isolated small town community people don't don't know these tricks they don't see them that often so you can use them and get in. <laughs> What's up, Fox? Uh, so anyway, um, I got to know I got to know some of those 
those people a little bit. Um, obviously, we didn't see anything we didn't know, but we trade uh, since we were roasting sweet corn. Everybody loves sweet corn, and it's different from everything else at a car. You know, like you only eat so much so much funnel cake. You can only eat so many corn dogs. Uh, but an ear of fresh roasted sweet corn, uh, kind of different, unexpected, hits the bill. And so people would gladly trade us whatever, if, if they were food vendors, whatever they're getting, we could get beer tickets, we could get uh, carnival <laughs> carnival rides, whatever we wanted at these festivals. And they we'd be, you know, we'd be there 8 a.m. Uh, for a festival that started at 11 to set everything up and get ready. And um, we'd be there through the fireworks at the end of the night. So you got lots of, lots of time in between. So it's really, really cool in that regard. But then our base, right, was this little greenhouse area. I learned uh, how to care for the plants, how to kind of fake my way through talking like I was a gardener and knew what I was doing. Um, and I got to uh, know the the produce business. And then in the autumn, we did, just like Stardew Valley, we did pumpkins. Um, we had hay bale, like an arrangement of hay bale things where people could come in and take their, bring their little kids dress them up and instead of having to go out to like a pumpkin patch or something like that they could do their halloween pictures and all that uh we'd sell bundles of corn stalks as decorations all the, like all the stuff and we had gourds and and uh, mini pumpkins for cooking um trying to think if we had fruit in the autumn i don't i don't think we really did we had all kinds of squashes and gourds and we had late fall plants, right? Like mums. Um, pansies are kind of frost hardy. Uh, you know, it's a very relatively small business, but uh, there would be a lot of fall frost hardy plants that we could sell for people to decorate their homes up until real winter set in. So lots and lots of fun, different stuff there. And then in the last bit, uh, in the later years, we'd grown. Uh, we had this this big stand at a mall that was kind of our flagship, right? It had the big greenhouse and it had all the plants, and we it was there uh, from early spring when we set up for the uh, the plants all the way through fall with pumpkins, and then the for the midsummer when corn corn is the king, right? So when corn was in season and all the tomatoes and beans and all that stuff were ready, ripe and ready, we did about twenty four stands. Um, scattered around the city that just did produce they just sold uh all the vegetables and fruits and stuff like peppers and all the zucchini and all that good stardew valley stuff right that's why i think i love this game uh well there's so many reasons why i love this game but that's one of them uh we would sell all that stuff and it became my job during those summer months to run a warehouse because all of those stands were in insecure right uh, school teachers and stuff would staff them because they worked through the, the school year and then were off for the summer. So they had to have a car with a trailer hitch and we would load up a, a trailer for them uh, and we would sell like cut flowers and all this produce. So each morning I'd get there early, I'd load up all the trailers for all the people. They'd come in, hook up, and we had to do, we had to base their current inventory on what their sales were so i had to do all this planning of like you know how much value and all that and, you know i was getting taught along the way but i was learning how to how to have responsibility for all this stuff and the people could say oh i you know it's going to be a big day somebody asked said they were going to have a party they want a lot of cut flowers so set me up with extra all that i would i would load them in and then during the day uh the farm trucks would come in and i would load up a like a moving truck. I didn't have a special trucker's driver's license and it was all one. It didn't have like a separate trailer. It was just a big moving van truck kind of thing. Um, but I'd load up pallets of stuff and I'd drive around to all the stands, check on them, give them resupply. If the lunch rush had, uh, had left them low, see how everybody's doing, let them all go get lunch and have breath, bathroom break. I would do a little tour and then come back and I'd shut down the warehouse at night it was a great job. I learned so much about small business and uh, taking care of all that stuff. And it was all uh, all the stuff that people like to buy, right? They're never never mad coming in to go get fresh produce. It, it, sometimes they think they'll tell you how bad they think it is or how cheap, much cheaper they think it should be. Or they'll come back and complain. 
my plants died and it's all your fault. <laughs> well, is it? Uh, we work it out. So, Foxy, how have you been? Are you a gardener at all, Swamp Fox? Uh, you grow stuff? Raviolin and I were talking up plants. So much so that I needed all that water. Oh, that was good. All right. Let's get back to it. We got our our pine tree. Oh, we need to go get more heavy heavy tappers, right? We've got two more trees that can use them. So we can go make those and get them set up. We're still waiting for our home tree to grow. Uh, so that we'll have an indicator, but these can all just be syncing up. I don't mind if I miss a few. We're going to have so much more capacity now that uh, it'll be great. <laughs> I, I recognize the importance of networking. I'm not... You guys would be surprised. I... I like people, if you can't tell, and I love stories and I love learning about people and their interests and all that, and hearing other people's stories. And uh, I think of any of us, we like to talk about what we're interested in, what's, uh, what's going on in our world, what motivates us, and it helps, right? It really, if, if you find yourself on the shy side, um, just, you know, I always remember the the easiest way to not have to talk about yourself is to ask people what they're what they're doing, what they're into. Um, ask them about themselves, and uh, they'll more open up. Now, if you get two two people that really don't feel like opening up, that won't go very far. But um, if if I'm out in social stuff, I I kind of am in that. I like to pull pull a couple new people into a familiar group setting if I can't, you know, just throw me out in the in a bunch of strangers. I'll be friendly and I'll talk stuff, but I I'm not very outgoing. Um which is I, I don't know, I think it surprises people around here. Um But uh yeah, I I can see see especially from a stream why people would think that right because uh, I'm I'm having fun. Part of the fun is having all you guys and, and being uh, honored that uh, you guys want to come and hang out, hear hear what I've got to say. So, good night, dear. Good night. I'm glad she was still up. Maybe maybe tonight's the night. The magic happens. Seven grand. That was uh, about our lowest cash in a while. Um, so, yeah, I, like, I'm not a very good, like, I've got a buddy uh, who is, he's done, uh, you know, car sales and all that. Uh, it, it, I, all I have to do is say that, but he's done um, web sales stuff, uh, travel, all kinds of stuff like that. And he, everyone knows, he is the most sales networky person you've ever seen in your life. You'll be, uh, and I've known him ever since my first day of college, right? And uh, it's it's one of those where you kind of see, you're like, oh, okay, uh, what are we going to get in for, right? If he, if he offers you like, hey, uh, let's go grab some lunch. I'll come pick you up. You always think twice because you may end up in, like, done for the next 10 hours as you go to some other place to just run a quick errand for him. And then you talk to people and it's just this on and on and on stuff. It's a totally different life, but he instantly makes friends and is, is having, you know, deeper conversations with people. Um, any, any social situation probably in one night than I have in, in <laughs> it's not true in all my life, but that kind of person, right? Like, oh, yeah. And I honestly, I don't know how many, how long any of those get retained or how much just go through. I think he's got a, a got an incredible recall of stuff. So if you call him, I'll, oh, yeah, no, I totally remember that. The details may all blend, but uh, he'll he'll know what, what was going on or who he was talking to in a sense. Uh, whereas me, I try to remember all those instances and... Um, 
uh, go on from there. But you know, if I'm if I'm just out at a party or something like house party or yeah, not that there's that many of those anymore, but all that, I'll meet the people and have a great time that night. But rarely will any uh, you know, like, oh yeah, no, now we're gonna be best friends, kind of like the movie Step Brothers. Like, oh, we're best friends now, aren't we? I rarely at this point make those next connections. I'll be like, oh yeah, I totally remember that party. It was an amazing night. I had a blast. Uh, it was great talking to you, but I had no no desire to uh, to follow on with the conversations and stuff. But I'll remember the things that I learned about those people, much like I try to do in chat here. If you're nice enough to come by, hang out, tell me stuff about you, I try. Uh, sometimes I get it really wrong, but I really try to remember who the people are, what they, uh, something about them. Um, how, you know, Raviolin, I, I still know, uh, we met in Lord of the Rings online because you showed up and you showed me, uh, all about the, uh, the Signum U, um, lecture hall that's built in debris. Um, and that's amazing. And certainly meeting, meeting within the context of games and then finding out that you have common interests slam dunk right that's how friendships are made uh it's how we choose who we maintain friendships with i guess but uh it's amazing anyway we've got uh we've got time and we've now set up our farm enough that with some luck uh we're gonna have some luck and have one more shot here at our junimo carding Damn it! I don't think it was to be. Hey. Thanks for a great year, Habage. I'm excited to tackle next year together. I am too. Don't get me wrong. I'm just a little disappointed. I was really hoping to get um, uh, Junimos. I really wanted to look down here. I see the kid. Silver Star. All right. We're moving forward. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some blessings. Uh, we'll take ladders. Maybe we'll go to Skull Cave today. On our neutral day, instead of Junimos. Hey, buddy, why are you sitting way down in the corner? That's not cool. Come hang out with your mom and me. All right. Of course I do. And for for all those, um, I I've been absolutely loving uh I, I caught like literally i caught like five minutes of nate domi yesterday I, after he came in i was like oh there's nate domi on stream right now and uh i had <laughs> i was i was just one of those where i came over to the computer it looked and uh i was like all right give me like a few minutes i'll be right back uh and i was just finishing up something uh here in my house completely unrelated to anything twitch and um when I came back, he's like, yeah, so I'm wrapping up, and uh, we'll see you all next time. So uh, he was really cool. I was like, oh, it was good to see you for a minute. And he was like, yeah, sorry, I didn't even really plan on streaming tonight. But um, uh, between Poteen, um, check oh, – well, Check My Loots has been doing all Fallout 76 of late. Um, we met Sally. Uh Sail in uh, I, I, Sally. Um, and, uh, of course, Aubrey the Weird One is always good for some uh, some Lord of the Rings online. So, yeah, I, I'm loving that. I can't wait to get back more into it. Um, just great stuff. All right. Neutral day. I don't know why I'm here. I'm trying. I think it's only 6.50. I think... I really think we might be able to get a big old whack of the cooking done today since it's neutral. Uh, and now that we've got all our extra supplies, so let's look here again. And let's try to do a, a, a little bit of targeted uh, cooking. We still need a salad, which needed a leak, so we need to go check there. What didn't we have here? We now have Oh, periwinkle. A morel. Oh, yeah, these are so these are the only ones we need. Morel, and I think we already have common mushrooms in here. P 
periwinkle and a leek, right? Because I have no leeks. And was it a dandelion? So that so periwinkle and a morel. Uh, of course I have no morel in here, uh, but I do have periwinkles. Uh, we very much have to do do all that today. We just did the other farm, so we're good there. Uh, that's why we never run when we have five of anything. Who knows what else we'll need morels for. I'm going to be a dummy. Oh, yeah, and a leak. Oh, we got story. All right. I love it. Leak. Uh, I guess my best networking I've ever done is being in a boogie-woogie dancing class circa 0809. Turned out to be a wide sprawling net of people that we referred to as Dance Mafia throughout the years. Cool thing was that you could find anything you need through it. From a good plumber to a tutor, that's how I got a workplace of six years too. Yeah, 100% uh, your networking is what's going to get you get you hired into stuff, right? Um, hasn't always been the case for me, but clearly the job I just told you about, this was in high school going into college, and it was my college job all the summers all the way through university, um, was through the dad of an ex-girlfriend, right? And after I'd graduated from university, I really didn't know what I was going to be doing. I didn't have leads, right? You know, you get out of university. Oh, now what do we do? Uh, so I'd moved back to Minnesota, and I was waiting tables, and I did a full summer of... Uh, that same job after I graduated and that was really the only year that I worked all the way through the end of pumpkins because usually I was back in school right so uh, I got the full experience there and then um, that winter I still didn't know what I was going to do and I was waiting tables and just kind of kicking around having a good time with friends and all that but not very seriously doing much and uh one of my buddies out here called it that's how i moved back out to colorado had a job at a, a company i didn't know anything about but uh uh ended up being a really big uh the comp company no like got acquired a long time ago but big computer company um taught me uh you know got me uh in the door as an hourly phone answer for an internal help desk where we just you know What's your problem? Oh, you need your password reset? Well, I can do that. Otherwise, give me the details of your problem, and I'll get it to somebody that knows what they're doing. Uh, worked there, got a, a certification thing, got hired on full-time, uh, was trained up as a sysadmin and a network administrator. Um, and that was all thanks to a buddy that just got me in at an entry-level deal where a company was willing to train me skills uh, that had nothing to do with my degree. And... Um, give me a chance right and that uh that company like i said no longer exists but at the time they, before they got acquired they were getting going through layoffs this was uh after the 2000 not the 2008 housing crisis and all that but the 2000 bubble um shortly after that um i got uh laid off uh, effectively, which was awesome. If you can ever swing a layoff, it's not great at the time. Don't get me wrong, but when you're uh, when you're single and have done pretty well in that job, uh, it was really great. I had the best ski season of my life. They gave me a severance package, so I had I had money still coming in. Uh, if you can really work it off, you get laid off. Um, you get all of your severance stuff. And then you immediately get a new job that you love and want to do, and um, you, you save pocket all that money, right? Uh, but we did. I didn't do that. I I took the winter off and skied <laughs> the whole time, uh, and it was great. And then the next spring, I actually went uh, through Craigslist, which I don't know if they still do any employment stuff through Craigslist, uh, but companies could put stuff in, and uh, they were kind of a similar deal that I just did on my own. I just cold interviewed. 
uh, was super overqualified for a, uh, a frontline support position and very quickly uh, got you know hired out of that uh, and that that company got bought but we we stayed in uh, as they were being bought and I rose up through several several corporate mergers and all that and uh, arrest as they say is history but the network the networking is what gives you the chance treat people good um, and that 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 guy right the uh, I, I've got a little bit of it in me genetically. My my grandmother would talk anybody's ear off. Um, just sit down. Oh, yeah, let's, you know, came from an era. And my grandfather was the exact opposite. Now, he was hard of hearing, but he was the most reserved. You know, they always say, like, um, listen when a quiet person speaks. Because the whole time that they're not talking, they're thinking, they're listening, they're, they're learning and arranging their thoughts and they don't talk a lot so they don't sound the fool right uh, all those kind of uh aphorisms um so he was kind of the quiet reserved one uh that would just drop the hammer with his words right when when he talked you knew it was it was something worth listening to my grandma uh she just wanted to know about people and my it was kind of the same my uncle wanted to uh uh wanted to make friends and and buddies with people anywhere everybody was interesting to him fascinating um and uh the more kind of uh not in a bad way but kind of salt of the earth right the the more humble your origins uh the more you worked with your hands or tools or at a skill or a, a craft or something like that the more he found you fascinating and um uh, was just an amazing guy uh, but my mom was, a, and my dad, uh, both very social people, but not that just random, you know, they're, they're very looking for their friends and for talking with people that have commonalities and stuff like that. I guess I'm kind of a mix. I, I'm pretty quiet a lot. And this is kind of a, a an, an outlet for not being that. Um, but, uh. Uh, when I, I talk, I, I see, you know, I see parts of both of those in me, the the wanting to get to know people in here and learn about uh, various skills and things that people value um, in their own lives and, and how um, how you find happiness and joy without, you know, chasing the the ever higher keeping up with the Joneses type stuff. Um, but I think there's also a lot of, you, know, you guys know, I, I've, I read a lot. I, I am interested in history and the stories of stuff. So I'm always looking for a new, uh, a new way to look at things or thinking about, you know, what, what are bigger issues and stuff like that? And how, how as people, can we be better at it? So I don't know. You guys take it for, uh, um, but that's so cool that you had that group, right? And th that's so, it's tough to find that as adults. I guess that's what I'm getting to is, um, I had that through this, this group of runners and skiers in high school. Um, we, you know, it, all American high schools know, you know, you kind of got the, the football team and in our case, hockey and basketball and all those, but we were we were very much as successful and we were much bigger teams um, because we, you could, you know, you'd have a varsity team of seven or nine runners. I can't remember now, um, but you could have as many JV racers as you wanted. And it just made it fun. You know, we made it fun uh, running. Uh, I hated it as a, a junior high kid. When my big sister dragged me off at my parents' request to go, uh, joiner in cross country which i had no i wanted i played hockey as a kid and i i wasn't good enough to compete at my my high school's level we were during my years we were elite um but i was uh athletic you know i, I loved downhill skiing i've said we we were uh uh, older kids easy walk uh, from the ski hill to my house uh, and a little ski hill don't, don't think I was like living in Colorado mountains or anything like that then this was just a little hill um, but I could go ski all the time I loved hockey um, and the idea of just running around was utterly appalling to me but uh, yeah I got I got dragged along as a, a 
what would have been an eighth grader, seventh or eighth grader, I think. And uh, my sister had friends who had younger siblings as well, and we all kind of grew as this tight little core uh, from junior high into high school. And uh, it attracted tons of people in our high school because it was just, you know, it was fun. Yeah, you got to go run, and you're going to be tired, and you're going to get in shape. But uh, there's, you know, a lot of time for stretching as we, uh, as you know, we go for a warm up and then stretch. And you know, most people weren't expected to do the same workouts that the we varsity kids were. Um, and in skiing, we had loads of fun because, of course, that was almost entirely co-ed uh we had one one main coach and an assistant coach but it's for guys and girls cross-country skiing they only would afford a bus for one team to go to the practice parks and stuff where we'd go ski and as a high school kid you're like oh yeah <laughs> this is fantastic um and it was it was tons of fun we, we would have waxing parties where we'd wax all the the skis not come on guys we were in high school no, we would wax our skis for the upcoming races, and we'd do it, you know, either at somebody's house or in the gym, uh, in like this little corner hallway near the gym because the wax on the floor was just <laughs> dangerous as hell. Uh, but it was so much fun. We'd go, you know, that kind of became a social group, and it was lots of different backgrounds. We all just happened to have the sports in common, um, and that that really followed through. Uh, it's amazing. Um, how long and while I don't have any direct contact um, you know I you got to know the parents of the, the kids like the the dad that I worked with um, and some of these were like you know some of the guys were my best friends as you know through all those growing up years so we you know we'd have sleepovers and all that kind of stuff so I knew uh, I knew a bunch of my buddies parents pretty well but they as we all were dating within the same kind of social circle uh, they all knew each other. <laughs> they would kind of to keep tabs on us and also through the sports and stuff, they all got to know each other and, and one another. And I know they still kind of keep in touch. So I would hear from uh, from my parents, oh, we ran into so-and-so and they told us all about blah, 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 blah. It's crazy. Uh, it's good to just maintain those contacts, uh, I think. So anyway, let's get back to cooking. I love this talking. All right, so now we can make uh, the fried mushroom, the strange bun, not the sweet bun, and the salad. All right, let's go put these away. Salad, strange bun, and then fried mushroom. Should have sold these raisins, I guess. All right, now back to here. We need a crispy bass and a Tom Ka soup. So we're going to need to go get a shrimp, I have a feeling. I think we have the common mushroom. We might have coconut in here as well. Yep. So let's get a shrimp and a largemouth bass. And I know somebody just gave us a largemouth bass. Uh, so we got that. We'll grab both of them. And a shrimp. All right, crispy bass and tonkatsu. Uh, here, here. All right, that's three rows done. Look at us, we're flying right along. Uh, we've made sushi and a tortilla. Let's see what else we can make on this row. Um, we can make red plate. We can make eggplant parm. We can make blueberry tart. What do we need for fried eel? An eel. <laughs> we also need a spicy eel. Oh, the pepper might be tough. I have no... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Good thing spring's coming. We might not have any eel. Oh, I have an eel. Do I have any peppers? I've got ten gold star peppers. I think we might have used them. So let's make this, let's make the spicy eel with the pepper. Because that'll be the tougher one to hold on to peppers for. 
All right, so spicy eel. I now I'll need to catch another eel in spring. Uh, should be no problem, but we got to do that. Maki roll. I need uh, any fish. I uh, don't want to use my largemouth bass. Uh, what do we have a lot of? A carp. And then seaweed. Eel! Seaweed. See, I can only do this towards the end of a stream, because otherwise we'll be, uh... I'll be starving. Even though I just had my awesome egg sandwiches today. Alright, now we are up to rice pudding ice cream. Milks. Well, we got a lot of cows. I don't know if you can use goat milk on this, but we'll be alright. This is not the cow barn. Oh, I don't even know if we checked in with all the animals, did we? Uh, let's take these 12. That'll set us back a little bit on the growth, but it's all right. Dun, 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 uh, dun, dun. Arguably just as quick to walk up there, but I think we saved a second or two. All right, so this should make us both rice pudding and ice cream, and then let's go uh, dump off any th anything that doesn't have boosts, like Maki Roll, um, blueberry tart, rice pudding, and ice cream. And then all the rest of this can go into the bonus -y foods. And then we'll put our milk in the fridge. I should just wait until I need to go get something. Well, I'm going to put these damn raisins away. Alright. Next up. Cooking. A whole row. So anything we can do in row five, we want to do. Uh, like an autumn's bounty. A pumpkin soup. Sounds delicious. Super meal. Bok choy, cranberries, and artichoke. That does not sound super ideal to me. Uh, cranberry sauce. Not my favorite. Uh, I've shared that before. Uh, miner's treat. We actually have a lot of these, but we haven't made one yet. And a roots platter. All right. Stuffing. We do have bread. Omelet. I think we have one of those. More bread, so two breads and an omelet, and a hash brown if we have one. Two breads. That's a cheese cauliflower. That's an omelet. Cow, what was the other thing? A hash browns. Those are calamari, so I guess we'll have to make a hash brown. Unless hash browns have a boost. Like they do. Alright, so stuffing. Farmer's Lunch, Survival Burger, and then we've got Dish of the Sea, which needs two sardines and a hash brown. Somehow I still have a hash brown? Oh, no, I guess I was still going to do that. Sardines. Give me two sardines. Uh-oh. Two sardines. Why do I have clams? Clams don't belong there. To Sardi shoot. Alright, so we need eels and sardines. <laughs> it's good to have a few things left over, right? Alright, so that's the only one left on this board. Uh let's go look at row six. Um we need Algae soup, that's easy. White algae soup. Artichoke dip, I should be able to make that. Stir fry. Oh god, this is getting tougher. Oh no, I... 
Yeah, it doesn't show me any of the ingredients. I'm not on the stove. All right, so let's do this the easier way. I've made triple espresso. I've made sea foam. I've made uh, plum pudding, and I've made roasted hazelnuts. Anything else that we can make, we want to make. Oh, I made a lot of these. Uh, I just need the al... No, I can make. God. Uh, I can make. I can make. I can make. I can make. And then I need four algae. Make some algae soup up real quick. Oh, I bet the house smells wonderful with all these smells. All right, let's go do another big unload. Algae soup. No surprise there. Radish salad. Pumpkin. Stir fry. Artichoke dip. None of these are very special foods. It's got plus three farming. Defense. Farming. Foraging. Attack. Mining. Mining. Speed. Luck and defense. All right. Okay. Uh, row seven. Every, everything except for blueberry. Or blackberry. Cobbler. Wow. I need an apricot. All right, remember, and an ap apricot, apple, bread. Do I have more bread? Yep. Bruschetta. Uh, we got coleslaw. We got fiddlehead risotto. Poppy seed muffin. So we need an apricot, an apple, a poppy... A clam. I just had a clam. Um, oh my gosh. And a snail. Man, this is like the thing of the bin. Alright, let's see what I can remember. We need a poppy. We need a snail. Uh, a periwinkle. There was a crayfish. Mussels? Clam for sure. Uh, I know we're gonna need to make lobster bisque, so let's grab that. We might I think we made crab cakes maybe already? So, uh, how about an oyster? I need one of those. I know I haven't gone all the way down to the fruit chest yet, but let's see. Oh, that was actually looking pretty good. All right, so. Um, I think I already made that. Yeah, that was last. So, poppy seed muffin. Clam chowder. I don't want to just call it chowder. It could be corn chowder. Uh, we got all these. Fish stew. And escargot. Oh my goodness, we can go right into the next row. Lobster bisque. Me planning ahead. We've already made ginger ale, I know. All right, so now we need the apple and the apricot. 10, 10 a.m. We're still doing very well. Also, we need to check on jelly. Do I have a jelly laying around? I do not. So I gotta start a jelly down at the shed today, too. But let's get these guys. Uh, fruit salad. And cranberry candy. And I think that gets that entire row done. Uh, maple syrup. We can get that. I should have checked more ingredients, but... Maybe look here. All right, next page. Oh, I do need a crab cake. All right, crab cakes. 
Shrimp cocktail. Uh, banana pudding. Mango sticky rice. Poi. Need more peppers, so we're gonna have to wait on this curry too. Oh no, no, I have a pepper. I can just get another one of the gold star ones. Uh, and squid ink ravioli. That's why we've been hanging on to the squid ink. Uh, do I still have any of those in here? I think we used up the one I had. All right, so we needed a clam and a lot clam and a lobster. No, a shrimp. Not a clam. The shrimp cocktail and the crab cakes. And then we needed a pineapple, a hot pepper, um, I should do. Should have done this a long time ago. Move all these inside. I might have grapes on the other one. Um, yeah. So rhubarb. I do. Oh, I should go to go get those today too. I gotta go get those rhubarb seeds. Red cabbage seeds. Uh, they grow in summer, but we can get the more of the seeds now should try to remember that of course star fruit are a, a one-off um, I didn't make more powder melons but I don't think they go into anything to cook so not too worried we'll find out if we're wrong here pretty quick um, all right so we need a squid ink uh, I don't have any of the taro. What did I do with all those? Are they in here? Are they back at the island? Uh, I need a mango and a banana. No, no taros in there either. I hope I didn't sell them all. I, we've got all those ready to harvest, but I didn't want to, have to deal with all that. Just to make some poi. Anybody had poi? People are like, oh, poi's so weird. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, here, I have made some of those already. Thank God. I haven't made poi yet, though. I didn't go get squid ink. Uh, and I just made these two, right? Yeah, there's the maple bar. Wait, how? God, now I'm so confused. I think I need to make this. I need to make this. I need to make this. I think I've made ginger ale already. I need to make mango sticky rice. And I need to make tropical curry. Oh, delicious. And then I just need squid ink. Taro roots. All right, let's go back to our big board now. All right, so we've got the two eel and sardines. And then we need taros, we need ink, and 20 moss. Do I have an ink in here? Extra ink. No. Right, well, we can go use our whooshin. Ink. Ooh. I mean, I guess as long as we're here, right? I haven't dove in on all the animals yet. Uh, just because I know once we get going, we'll be... Fully sidetracked. <sighs> Moss soup. Uh, we need the ink for the ravioli. How bad would it have been if I'd forgotten that? 
And then uh, we need to go... I don't know what's this quicker. Probably this. Did I need something out of here? Oh, I was going to put these stupid bones. <laughs> I think that was... Not those bones, these bones. All right. Uh, let's go to the island. Check for taros there. And for any other goodies that might have sprouted, but I think we're good. Oh, those extra seeds. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see if we can have our cooking down to two items. So we can make moss soup. We can make squid ink ravioli. And we can make poi. And that should leave us with two. All right. So a lot of a lot of hard work and preparation to make that pretty easy. We just gotta go fishing. We might be able to get sardines tonight, but I don't think we can get eels until rainy spring. Um, maybe we'll go try for sardines. Let's see, it's just two of them. Uh, but let's go store off this food. Uh, these are the regular -y ones. That's got a lot. That's got stuff. That's got stuff. Foraging. Poi is regular. Well, these aren't. Uh, moss soup, not real exciting. Cranberry candy, fruit salad. Poppy seed muffin. Alright, and then boosted foods. There. Alright. And then I can dump I a lot of pineapples. If I need to dehydrate a food, pineapples are going to be quickly becoming a prominent option. Let's put that in. Um, I might as well just put the muscle outside. There. Alright. Now, caviar. And then there. Do we think? Oh, I gotta start the jelly too. That's what I would keep forgetting. Uh, what do we got? A lot of two fifty one uh, mango jelly. A lot of mangoes. Mango jelly goes up here. Uh, Ravio, and thanks so much for the wonderful conversation and coming and hanging out. I uh, definitely enjoyed it. And hope you have a great rest of your night. Sleep well, if that's what you're off to, or if you're off to fun. I don't know. It's only 2.30 here. Uh, I assume it's evening, but not, like, middle of the night time. So, have a good one. Uh, all right, we're good. So I want to go check the merchant. There's a chance. It's not a good one, but there's a chance that the merchant is selling eel. <laughs> Rainbow trout. No, that doesn't help us. Lots. It's like they know, though. All right, we're going to give you lots of different ingredients. They'll sell me the fried eel I haven't been able to make. Oh, wow. All right, we already have the Junimo catalog, but I'm going to get the Queen of the Gem C. That sounds fun. It's probably in there somewhere, but whatever. Uh, let's go home. Uh, let's... Throw those in. 
so happy when they get let out that I think we'll be able to get away with this. Plus, if we catch sardines really quick, it won't even matter. Willie! Willie, my man, sometimes you sell fish. You got any fish to sell me? No. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've sold many fish. So he sells all these too. Again, I just I totally wish we new I, I mean I, I'm figuring it out but the answer is four most of the time so nothing nothing too fun for me I'm not gonna set I'm not gonna worry about extra tackle or anything like that um, we'll just just go after two sardine not even sure if that's possible There's always herring. Why was that not a thing? Oh, I just had thought. Uh, here, we'll catch this fish. <laughs> uh, wonderful. I want to come over here. We haven't uh, looked here. It might be time to change it up. Look at all the stuff we've unlocked. I don't know how many were locked. I, the first time we looked, there was already a pig. So I'm guessing it's this row. And these are all things we can kind of recognize, right? That's amazing. Uh, but as fitting and as awesome as the pig is, the golden animal cracker is pretty dang outstanding. We also have pearl, radioactive. That just seems dangerous. Cheeseburger. Baseball. I don't know. I don't know what this would signify. All right, let's leave it. I think we're stopped. Let's just leave it here. We got an ad break. Uh, I'm going to keep going just a little bit longer. We'll finish out this day. Oh, man. Should we try to get the crops in, too? I don't know. I'll have to check. I'll, I will check while I'm on my break. I'll be right back.
All right, we're just about back. I'm going to re-mute here for a second and sip my, some of this coffee. There we go. All right, let's uh let's try switching it up. Golden animal cracker. We already got one for the day. Oh, <laughs> he floats around. He spins around. I don't know if my pig bobber did that. It's much more noticeable when they have legs. Welcome back, everybody. We just restarted fishing. Grabbed our uh, bobber here. And so far, no sardines. I don't know if we'll get any. They might not like the snow. They might not like the winter at all. It was like the easiest super cucumber ever. Have we tried to craft elven jewelry into anything? Probably just be one of those regal shirts, right? Or a craft tailor. This is not looking good for... It just cracks me up. I'm guessing our pig had to do it. I don't know why it just never stood out that it spun like that. This ain't bad, though. I I can stand here and get super or sea cucumbers for lucky lunches. Um, for a good long while, I'll be happy. He always lands feet up. He's like a cat. Oh, lost our perfect. Oh, no, we didn't. Ha 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 ha! All right, come on, one more. Where's your buddy? I want your buddy, Mr. Sardine. Perfect. <laughs> Ash Browns. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's go look. Oh, it's way over here. All right, it's by the survival burger. And that, of course, is a fishing... I think we actually have these down here. And fish taco we can put away. That's also fishing, but not quite as good. A few of those. Um, let's get... Oh, I think... Did we do this today? I'm wondering how many, <laughs> like, clam... Lobster or uh, clams and crabs and all that. Yeah, we just loaded up one of these and I didn't look for all the fish, but oh well. I'll throw some seaweed in there too. Not a bad fit. Now, some of this is kind of silly. Uh, trout. I think you can use any trout. Uh, we don't need extra lionfish. That's the only tuna we've got, so let's keep that. But we don't need extra salmon. Midnight carp will keep. Uh, periwinkles, of course, all of those. All right, that feels uh, like stuff we can sell. And then let's come 
over here, because we can. And... I haven't made a frozen geode, I guess. Alright. A blue hoodie! Awesome! Thought that was already done. That we know. See cucumber row? Just polka dots. I'm sure we've done one of these. Oh, no, gray hoodie. Maybe. Aha! Just out of time. All our hoodies are coming into style. Tuna! Ooh, that's kind of sharp looking. Faded denim. Cowboy tuxedo. And lionfish. All right on that. I can do that. All right, who needs an animal cracker? Animals. Could be Nate. Uh, but Nate might have to wait, too, because... Um, a little unnamed Neo could use one. Omni... Oh, Fox! Fox was here today. Hey, right. Fox. Uh, let's go get Fox the duck. Oh, God, I hope we can... Uh, here, let's go this way. Uh, I hope he's still awake. I think till 7. And I understand that... Uh, there, there we go. Uh, that male ducks do not lay eggs. I understand that. Those would be drakes, by the way. There you go, Swamp Fox. Thanks so much for coming by. Appreciate you, buddy. You now have a golden animal cracker. And, uh... I know we're not going to get through all the animals today, but we might as well at least get these ducks. Because uh, chances are they're not going to get let out tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. We're already into sleep time, so no more... Uh, no more affection today. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is the worst. I'm not going to bother with the other barns or anything. Do, 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 do. This is, this is very appropriately somber for the last, uh, night of winter. good stuff. I, I'm sure we've forgotten some major uh, things that would have been good to do. Uh, I'm just going to sell this instead of deal with it. Alright. You go away. Uh, you can switch. In fact... Uh, that's fine. I'll put seeds and whatnot in this section. And... Uh, I think, th think that should be plenty. Oh, we never went. Got, uh, I don't think I can go buy them from Sandy after 8. So, I think we missed the boat there. Uh, but if... If possible, well, probably after, like we talked about, after garlic or after some parsnips or something, we'll try to get our, uh, both our carrots and our rhubarb in. Let's just, in coming days, try to keep me reminded that rhubarb would be really good to grow. Well, that was pretty darn good. Um... We got a lot of... A lot of extra stuff done. 
And uh, you know what else we need to do? We need to change. I love our prismatic stuff. I always will. But we need to get farmered up. Let's go. Uh, it's not green. Green one I want. Belted slime. I wish there was some kind of, like, alphabet or something if you hit an organize button. Although I'm sure they know, like, if you're trying to develop for this game, it's like, what is the organization? How do other people's minds uh, view all these clothes? There we go. Green thumb shirt. Pants. Uh, farmer. Uh, boots will keep the, the cinder clown shoes, but hat. Um... I mean, straw's really good, but cowboy hat, maybe? Anything else extra farmery? We've got a lot of cowboy hats now. I do love our raccoon hat, but I think it's going to be a little... Uh, a little warm come spring. Now, well, let's go uh, let's go farmer in the good old cap. We will dress for business. Got my my high pants on. Probably have some deep seed pockets in them. Okay. So tomorrow, we're going to go outside, scythe, pickaxe, chop, clear out all the fields. Um, tending to them won't be too difficult because we got uh, the full iridium and the full water. And basically at this point, everything except the, the cash crop in the the top level, and that one will continue throughout, I think, is going to be Deluxe Speed Grow. Uh, we might even do that here, although I don't need I don't need a gazillion regular strength cauliflowers. I need uh, quality ones, but all in all, I, I just like especially, so especially everything over on the, I'm using my hands and you guys can't see it, so everything over on the left part of the farm, here, we can go outside. Everything over here, we really, really, really want to have grow fast so that the Junimos can just turn it over. And that's why everything here is also going to be regenerative, right? We've got... Uh, Ancient seeds that are all going to go on the bottom, probably, and I don't know why, but uh, then strawberry seeds, and we're going to fill in with coffee beans up top. And that will, the Junimos will tend to all that stuff. They don't pick on rainy days, but every other day that stuff is ripe, they'll just go gather it for us. So we plant these guys once in the year, and they'll go all the way through next winter. Uh, plant these in the spring, these in the spring, and include summer, and then probably uh, will switch <laughs> corn for blueberries? I don't know. I'm kind of forgetting corn in all this. Uh, huh. I don't want to totally eliminate coffee. Do we get by on just a single uh, a single blueberry and cranberry going forward? At least for a year, that's fine, right? I guess we can rotate those out as needed going forward for as long as we go. So yeah, we'll do it do it as planned. Uh, these three up in these fields, and then green beans fill in down below in that little trellis patch that we have up here uh, up by the stable. We're gonna have. Uh, jazz and beans, right? That's going to help our bees. And we got uh, jazz down here as well. So all that gets taken care of. 
And slam dunk, no brainer. All of that is deluxe speed grow. Um, outside of those, there's not too much in spring that keeps going. It's basically just strawberries and beans. So we've got them covered. We could um, use full fertilizer and get lots of gold stars on all that. But what I think I'm going to do is do the bottom section of um, Deluxe Speed Grow. And that'll be kind of our variety garden again, where we're making sure that we have enough, right? We want to have plenty of jazz seeds to make lucky lunches. And we don't care about quality there. We want to have... Uh, some more, probably, again, I think we're probably going to garlic, but uh, definitely potatoes, because hash browns go to, into a lot of stuff. Um, uh, we'll get more rhubarb to fill that out. And uh, the rest of the stuff can just kind of fill in, right? Doesn't matter. It, it'll go quicker, so we can get more a variety of stuff grown. But up in this top section, I think we want to look at... Um, quality fertilizer, and I don't know how much I have left of that. Uh, we need 120. Oh, we got 318? Awesome. So, we can do that just as easily. Uh, let's go... Spur and sell it. Let's take care of it before we start up. All right, I think tea doesn't take much time either. Uh, we're going to plant with those. Any idea why I have melons over here? <laughs> uh, I think we're going to go oops, and start more uh, starfruit wine in here, right? We got some shorter stacks of starfruits. I think 35 gets us done. Out at these outer kegs. Uh, but then I won't have to tend to them while I'm worrying about the crops. Uh, if I'd still had hops, that would have kind of been ideal. Because as soon as we got done, we could set up wine. But uh, never going to complain about having more starfruit wine producing. And I'm so glad we got all but one of our uh, cooked items done today. That... That salvages our um, our sense of failure out of the uh, the Junimo cart. And honestly, I, I wish I gotten to play more. Uh, we just kind of got struck out on the luck. Um, no, no, I'm not going to go in there with that. I'm going to take these guys up here. Already up to 208. That's fantastic. Grab this cheese while we're here. And let's uh, let's also do a little cleanup here. Oh, I, I totally forgot to put up the Christmas... Guys, we had two Christmas trees. Your only job was to let me know that... Hey, Yerick! What? Yerick, where have you been? Aren't you a dinosaur? You're a dinosaur, aren't you? What are you? I mean, how many times have I scrolled through here looking at your guy and, uh... Okay, I guess you're not a dinosaur. Are you a pig? No, you're a goat. Yeah, dinosaurs have been in maybe not since the very beginning, but certainly since the first update, I think. Been around a long time. Cheese. We got lots of cheese. Uh, and melons can come over here. Actually, in the interest of um, kind of cleaning this up, let's pull the grapes, because I think we have those in two spots. And then I was trying to clean up 
here. So we definitely use all of these foods, but chocolate cake, fried calamari, miner's treat, shrimp cocktail, and then this is our, our primary fishing, our backup fishing, our primary luck, uh, our primary food, and our backup food. And we'll see if these get us through. But as you see, now now we can cook a lot of stuff. Like cheese collie, right? That's a regular food as well, I believe. And that we've got so much cauliflower and so many cheese. Uh, we can kind of really fill in these foods. But let's put these extras over. Um, nothing. Fishing and luck. Mining and magnetism. And cake. All right, cake is regular, and uh, there. Dude, we are so ready to farm. All right, guys. Uh, we. Oh, you know what else we're gonna do? Uh, I I love you, little parrot buddy, but you're gonna go to sleep uh, for tomorrow as well, so I have a clear view of everything that's going on. Um, we're going to head into winter, or I'm sorry, spring year four, uh, flying, right? We're just starting at a sprint. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I, we taught, you know, it, we've kind of been looking at awards and advancements and all that throughout the day today, but um, over the course of the streams that have represented winter, I think we've done a really good job. And this is this kind of new space for me. Uh, we're making a more mature farm going into year four than I've really ever been a part of. And there's new stuff as a part of that, but also just the, the amount of capacity and stuff that we have, uh, the diversity of animals and kind of taking that to the next step with extra ostrich and more cloth production and all those kind of things. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of see what continues to fit the bill. Um, you know, is there a point when it makes more sense to get rid of some of the fish and turn that into more animals that are going to just give us more productive stuff or a, a bigger uh, mystic tree farm? I don't know. Um, I don't know that uh, it, even if we had a whole stock of mystic trees that it would eclipse what we can get out of the caviar. Um, so far we really haven't looked to sea cucumbers, uh, to empty that area to get more for, uh, particular dishes, but, um, I think we could be pretty self-sustaining with our level of fishing and all that if, um, you know, we took all the fish ponds down to caviar and turned, um, the sea cucumbers that we do have into more lucky lunches then we're you know we're just going to fish them but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we just had regular uh regular supply i don't know we'll see uh, that's what I, i'm saying i don't know uh where we're all going sorry texts uh amazing uh, amazing stuff. All right, we're looking at the calendar, but let's uh, let's sleep. Tally up our last day of the stream. Not terrible, but uh, it's not going to be crazy. Uh, I did get some fish. <laughs> Six fifty-five in fishing money. Uh, it's not very profitable at this point in the game, but instrumental in getting us there. And uh, first rainy day of spring, you can bet we will be out there. Uh, reeling in or trying to some eel. And then I want to pause it here. We're not going to save this day. So this is where we'll start in the next stream. I'm saying in the next stream. Uh, I expect at this point that I'll probably stream on Thursday. But it's a little bit of a question mark. This might be a snuck in either different time of day or uh, just different... Um, different activities for me than streaming. We'll see. 
Uh, but we're ready to go. We're going to dive into spring, hit the farm hard, get everything uh, as much as possible in spring. Uh, planted, watered, fertilized, it, not in that order. Uh, but we've, we've got a good plan, if I don't forget it all, overnight. <laughs> or over two nights, we'll see. Um, and then come back and hit it uh, as we go back into spring, all the all the fun stuff there. And uh, my big mistake, right, all, all this time I've been thinking and, uh, or had been until winter started, that in winter we were going to find out if the desert was, if our solar panels in the desert would disappear just for the, the festival and then come back, hopefully. Um, if that's the case, then we're going to go big solar too and uh, start mass producing batteries, which will I mean, we've already got a, a gazillion of them, but they'll basically just be for further sale. But if we've got enough batteries, uh, probably the the next, well, it's not the next because we still have to go through wine and all the sheds, but eventually uh, making a big shed and completely crystallariuming it uh, just with diamonds uh, would be another top tier cash. You know, once a week you go in, grab up all the, the diamonds, you leave an indicator in the machine shed uh, so we see it when we check in. And uh, we'll kind of begin to streamline back down a little bit so um, we don't have so many day-to-day -day tasks. And it, it's tough to envision it because we keep adding animals. But when we get to the point when all of the animals are at five hearts and a thing, and however we have to go about unlocking the auto-petter, um, which... I really wish I knew what that was. If it's a crafting recipe, if it's a reward. I want to say when we had one, we got it as a treasure in the Skull Cave, but I don't know that for sure. Um, I'd love to unlock that and get it so that uh, since the animals are at five, if they're getting auto-petted and auto-fed... Uh, that all becomes a, a pretty streamlined deal, too, and we're just uh, using those as a chance to celebrate you guys when you come around and hang out. So, All right, let's quickly recap where we're at. Uh, we have our inventory all set. Uh, we are at 18490 in terms of total earnings. Spent a lot of money on seeds and cooking ingredients, so knocked our, down our total from the three millions. Uh, but we're, we're good to go. Um no change on either walnuts, I said almonds, walnuts or uh, key gems, sadly. That's a bummer. Uh, affection, we kind of irritated Robin. Uh, note to people, the, the Endless Fortune statue is great at birthdays, but terrible at secret friend gifts. Just give them, give them something you know they like, not an Iridium bar. Um... Crafting, I don't think we crafted anything new. We did add a couple more heavy tappers, uh, which is a big help. Uh, Animal-wise, big time. We got the barn set up for the ostriches. Speaking of which, I got to go incubate a, a deal. Okay. Somebody in chat, remind me of that. We need to incubate, move the incubator to the new barn and incubate another um, ostrich chick. We haven't been doing well at that, but we'll get the, the system up. Obviously, it's going to take a long time for them to be at full happiness. Um, but we'd love to get all of them there and all of them with auto petters, which is not as good uh, for their affection as it is to hand pet them. You know, as we run around each day and get the little heart to pop up, that's the best. That and not leaving their doors open and all the rest of it, making sure they have food. Um but if we can, uh, you know, like the dinos here have been moving pretty hard. We've got a few a few still working. Uh, ducks may be Thaw, Codsworth, Miles, and Enoch. So that's, that's it for ducks. Uh, we get their affection up, and we're done. Enoch is going to take quite a while. Um, goats, all good. And all golden crackered, so they're all done, but their whole barn is far from it. Pigs? Oh, look at pigs. 
so many now at a half heart um, that, uh, yeah, spring truffle production is going to be incredible. Uh, we have a few left uh, that we need to finish up. Uh, they'll be all right. And those probably just represent missed pets or something like that. I don't know. Uh, rabbits are all done. Sheep. Struggling. Especially now that we have three new sheep today. Uh, shout out to Antios. Antios Live, I think. Ant. Uh, Snooze and Snip Snip also. Less likely to see them come around. And uh, a big, big shout out to... Merskola, I don't know if I'm combining it, uh, uh, Mersk Ola, uh, hails from Colombia and was an awesome chatter as we were doing Junimo Kart earlier today. We had a bad luck day that we just used anyway as kind of a warm up. uh, did okay, uh, got close to our, our yesterday's stream high score in this, this playthrough. Uh, it was just a hair under 40,000. We did make it past the whales once, despite no really happy spirits. We tried to play on what was supposed to be a happy spirits day. They were not happy. It was not as is. Not as advertised. So, uh, animals, going forward, it's going to take probably another year to uh, to really get them dialed in. But I don't have any immediate plans to add additional barns or coops of animals, unless there's something I'm forgetting. The one thing that I think we're even still holding spaces for are chickens, right? We've got the, the chicken coop with two rabbits in it. Um, we've got the blues, we've got the yellow, brown, and void, and we'd like to have a gold, but we have to get a golden egg first, so that is still out there and elusive. Um on the animal front, but otherwise I think we're well represented unless there's, again, new stuff I don't know about. Um, and then powers, no change on the books. Uh, just knocking this stuff out. Here's our big progress, though. We sold a gold star ostrich egg and we sold a silver star mango. So all that remains, we are holding out for a quality banana. Uh, and we will sell that and call our collection here good. Uh, fish, no progress yet because uh, neither octopus nor any of the Legends fish are in the season in winter. So, been on hold there. Um, octopus comes up in summer. And uh, we will, I think, have a chance at a Legendary fish in spring. We'll go after that while we're working on... Uh, working on eels too and still we need a fan and we need a hand axe minerals are all done cooking is now one off we need that eel um achievements we did get sous chef today so progress uh we need those two artifacts uh we need one more cooking here uh craft <laughs> crafting will be the next big chore uh, trying to get those odds and ends items that require special stuff or big stacks of resources, uh, getting one of everything crafted. I don't even know for sure that we have all the recipes yet. We'll keep plugging away at that. Um, catch every fish. We just looked at the three. Full shipment, one banana, well-read, two books. I don't know anything about those. Uh, two mysteries. I don't know anything about those. And infinite power, I think we need two more galaxy swords to then, or souls, not swords, souls, to forge together to make the ultimate weapon, whatever that might be. Whew! We've done a lot, but we got a lot more to do. Um, so much more fun to be had. I can't wait to share it with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little bit longer stream. If you are over on YouTube, uh, comments and likes, always appreciated. I appreciate the views. Uh, we've had a few folks saying hello and what's up. It's awesome. Um, it, uh, makes reminding myself to, uh, to upload every day <laughs> worthwhile. And, uh, I'm just glad that people are playing along and are enjoying at their own pace, catching up what they might've missed out on. But as always, YouTube folks, uh, if you haven't already come on over to twitch.tv, uh, slash habage, uh, you can check my schedule. You can see when I'm streaming relative to your time. It's generally, 
uh, mid to late morning U.S. Mountain Time um, for four hours or so. And sometimes that slides back a little bit more. Uh, and we try to go most every day, but like tomorrow, it might go later, or uh, it might start later, and it may or may not happen. Um, we'll just see. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.